Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check stations. Sports Network from Learfield. Hawkeye football is on the air. And he's got all kinds of running room. See you later. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Hawkeye football is brought to you by Alliant Energy. Visit AlliantEnergy.com to see how Alliant Energy invests in solutions for clean, reliable energy now and in the future. High V. Score big savings with a new High V Perks membership. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. And by Case IH. The Case IH Red Zone is brought to you by Case IH and your local Case IH dealers. Learn more at CaseIH.com backslash Hawkeyes. Now live, Hawkeye football is on the air. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye game day show. Authentic brand. Elevate your game day look and everyday style with a premium label of choice. Hawks or Blue Jays, two aggressive birds. One is a raptor, the other a songbird, but each with a nasty disposition when hungry. These Hawks and Blue Jays have feasted on opposing defenses the first week of the new college basketball season. Iowa's averaging 104 points in victories over North Dakota and Alabama State. Creighton put up 97 in victories against North Dakota State and Florida A&M. The Hawkeyes have taken great care of the basketball, 50 assists to just 13 turnovers the first week. Creighton is 30 of 66 from three. That's 45.5% and a top 20 defense to go with it. Both have four players who average in double figures. Both head coaches know how to win. Fran McCaffrey's over 500 career victories. Greg McDermott has 450 at the Division I level. Iowa's first road test is just a few miles beyond its western border. The CHI Center in Omaha will sound a lot like Mackey Arena, the Breslin, or the Cole Center when the Hawkeyes and 7th-ranked Creighton tip off in one hour. Till then, it's the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Good evening, everybody. Welcome into the Gavit Games Big Ten versus Big East, one of many matchups involving two powerful basketball conferences. I'm Gary Dolphin, joined as always by former Hawkeye star and NBA world champion Bobby Hansen. Bobby, it may be Big Ten versus Big East, but this has the feel, the, the fragrance of an NCAA tournament game. Gary, I agree 100%. I was thinking the same thing here this afternoon, uh, thinking about this basketball game, other than it's not a one and done. There is a tomorrow for whatever team comes out of here on the losing end. So really nothing to lose for the Hawkeyes. I mean, you, you're going to be tested, no doubt about it, but it's an opportunity to see where you're at at this point of the season. A great start with the two victories the Hawkeyes have had to start the season. Creighton similar in uh, two uh, walkovers that they've had. So this is a game that is going to be up and down the court, and whoever can get out and stop the others for some consecutive possessions, rebound the basketball, whoever shoots the higher three-point percentage, I think comes out the winner. Both teams are going to find out a lot about uh, uh, themselves going forward on this schedule that obviously ratchets up uh, the closer you get to conference play. Creighton was one to two plays away from a Final Four berth last March. But a last-second loss to San Diego State in the Elite Eight slammed the door shut for 2023. Then star guard Ryan Newbard left for Gonzaga 
Arthur Kaluna transferred to Kansas State. Well, Greg McDermott uh, retained Trey Alexander, the uh, 6'4 guard who's averaging 21 points in the two wins, and got uh, seven foot center Ryan Kalkbrenner coming back. He's at 16 points, seven rebounds a game, and a rim protector in the paint. Now add in transfers. 6'7 guard forward Baylor Shireman. We're familiar with him, Bobby, formerly of South Dakota State. And guard Stephen Ashworth of Utah State, who we saw up in Sioux Falls. Three of the four names just mentioned were or are preseason all Big East selections. I mean, that's some kind of arsenal. Yeah, they're players, no doubt about it. But the guy that makes this team go is Trey Alexander. You mentioned him. He's their lead guard, guard a six foot four uh, point guard. He's shooting 70% from the floor right now, 33% from three. Made all his free throws, but averaging 20 points a game, five uh, assists, and uh, five rebounds, and, and uh, five assists. So uh, the guy can play, and he's going to pressure the, the Hawkeye guards as well. He likes to put pressure out there on you. They want to get out and run. They want to rebound the basketball and run, just like the Hawkeyes want to do. So big Kalkbrenner you mentioned, Ryan Kalkbrenner inside. He is more of a defensive presence, Gary, than he is offense. He will score, but they don't plant him down in the paint anymore. They'll do it a little bit if they see their offense is is, uh, is kind of bogging down a little bit. They'll drop him down in there. The Hawks will have to do- come with a double team and, and rotate out to the shooters. But this game, you're going to have to watch who makes the threes in, in this one because they shoot a high percentage. The Hawks very capable of shooting a high percentage and uh, can't turn the ball over. And this Trey Alexander is going to pressure the ball handler. I really like this kid, Baylor Schreierman. We saw him a couple of years ago play Providence. South Dakota State did. He reminded me a lot of Chris Mullen, the St. John's legend, NBA legend. This kid has a sweet left-handed stroke. He will pull a three-point shot as soon as he gets across half court. So got to know where Baylor Shireman is. Stephen Ashworth, you mentioned, young man from Utah State, didn't have a great game against the Hawkeyes up there in Sioux Falls, but a very capable three-point shooter cannot leave that guy open. Make him put the ball on the floor, drive him into your defensive traffic. Uh, he was all Mountain West first team a year ago at Utah State and shot 48% from three, and he's pretty close to that here uh, against two uh, outclassed opponents. Uh, The Hawkeyes look forward to the challenge. Uh, They're going to need solid floor leadership from Patrick McCaffrey, uh, Peyton Sanford, and Tony Perkins, uh, especially in lead roles for those four young freshmen who are going to get a taste of big-time college basketball tonight. Absolutely, and and Fran's going to lean on his his stars, the the three Ps, Patrick and Tony Perkins and uh, Peyton Sanford to lead this team, to settle this team down when it gets around. This place holds 17,500 people, Gary, and uh, it's going to be crazy. going to be a lot of Hawkeye fans in here, but you are exactly right. I look for a big game out of Tony Perkins. He's got to handle the basketball. Uh, This Trey Alexander, as we mentioned, is going to be D'ing him up, but we need Tony to knock down some outside shots, and then the key all night long is going to be to attack. Attack this Creighton pressure. They will foul you, get to the free throw line, and see if you can quiet this crowd down. And Peyton Sanford, Peyton and Price got to make outside shots when they're open. And uh, I want to see what Ben Cricky can do, too. A young man averaged 20 points there in the Missouri Valley. Off to a great start here with the Hawkeyes, averaging 15 and a half and six rebounds. So uh, see if he can get Kalkbrenner into some foul trouble early with the up and under with the left hand move. That's some great matchups. The Hawks haven't been in Omaha, at least uh, to play a competitive basketball game since 1999. They're here tonight, almost 25 years later. As a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Coming up next in the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, we take our trip down memory lane with the Hawkeye historical winning moment presented by Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Hawkeye fans, make Hudson's Tap your post-game destination. After cheering on the Hawks at Kinnick, swing by Hudson's Tap at 482 Highway 1 West in Iowa City. Michelle Altmeyer will be there broadcasting live on the Hawkeye Radio Network. To anyone passing through our state, Fields and fields of corn might be what they see, but the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corngrowsiowa. 
With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bose, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need, whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Hawkeye Hoops returns to the heartland. Tony Perkins leads the Hawks onto the big stage of Carver Hawkeye Arena. Coach McCaffrey brings back three starters and welcomes an array of instant impact playmakers. Visit HawkeyeSports.com or call 1-800-IA-HAWKS. This is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Delivering solutions for every life, every day. Welcome back to the CHI Center, downtown uh, uh, Omaha. Beautiful uh, arena, opened up in the early 2000s, and it's been the home to Creighton basketball ever since. And, man, have they uh, made the most of uh, the new digs. Uh, Tonight's Hawkeye historical winning moment is presented by Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. Stop by today for a relaxing massage at the spa. Fine dining at Ruthie's Steak and Seafood. And so much more. Visit Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, located just minutes south of Iowa City. Let's go back to uh, 2001, March 15th. I remember it well. Bobby and I were uh, out on Long Island at the NCAA tournament, the Nassau Coliseum. The Hawkeyes took on Creighton and uh, defeated. Moved on to the second round, 69-56. These names, Bobby, definitely ring a bell. Uh, what a game, a, a solid game for Steve Alford's crew. Remember, they came from nowhere to win the Big Ten tournament that year. And uh, led by Dean Oliver, Brody Boyd, Reggie Evans, rebounding Reggie, who made 13 of 15 free throws that day, led Iowa with 19 points, 16 for Duez Henderson, 15 for Dean Oliver, 15 and four assists, and 12 points for Glenn Worley, and the Hawkeyes uh, defeated uh, Dana Altman and Creighton 69-56. Yeah, I remember the game well out there uh, where Dr. J and the old ABA used to play out there in Union Dell uh, in Long Island there, Nassau Coliseum, and the Hawks a big victory there facing a Creighton team that had uh, a really good player by the name of Kyle Korver who went on to play <laughs> many years, a decade and a half in the NBA, but they held him to just two out of 13 from the field. That All of those were three-point field goal attempts, held Kyle to just 10 points and won that game. But let's go on some further names down there. Sean Sondelander, Courtney Scott, Jason Smith, Kyle Galloway, Jared Reiner, Rod Thompson, guys off the bench along there with Dean Oliver and Boyd and Evans, Henderson and Worley. So uh, that, was, that was a big victory and then went on and Hawkeyes face Kentucky in round two. Yeah, the Hawkeyes uh, out-defended Creighton that day. Iowa shot just 39% from the field, but uh, limited uh, the Blue Jays to 33% shooting and made 30 of 35 free throws. Reggie. 20, 21 more free throws made than uh, than the Creighton Blue Jays. 69-56. Unfortunately, they ran into Tubby Smith and uh, Ken, uh, Kentucky in round two. I believe Kentucky went on to win it all. 
Like they year. had a player by the name of Tayshawn Prince. Yeah, he wasn't bad, was he? He was pretty good. Lefty, lefty. long lefty, and uh, tough game for the Hawkeyes, but good to get that first victory in the NCAA tournament and move on. Kentucky beat the Hawks 92-79, but a great trip out to Uniondale, New York. That's our Hawkeye historical winning moment, courtesy of Riverside Casino and Golf. Now let's take a look at the uh, Hawkeye women's sports update here on the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Uh, lots to talk about. Uh, senior guard Caitlin Clark was named to the John Wooden Award women's watch uh, list uh, today. Clark won the Wooden Award last year. Clark has been tabbed as the Big Ten Preseason Player of the Year, all Big Ten uh, by the coaches and media. Nancy Lieberman Award, Associated Press All-American, and Wade Trophy Watch. Clark led Iowa to three wins in seven days over uh, Fairleigh Dickinson, number eight Virginia Tech, and, of course, Sunday up at uh, the uh, Clark, uh, the McLeod Center, uh, Northern Iowa. For the week, uh, Clark averaged 32 points, nine assists, and eight rebounds and had only four turnovers. That's where Caitlin has improved the most uh, with her game. Up next, the Hawks host Kansas State Thursday at Carver Hawkeye Arena. 7.15 for the pregame show on the Hawkeye Network with Rob and Tiffany and a 7.30 tip. Now, Kansas State knocked off the Hawks last year, so Iowa will be looking to return the favor. Uh, in soccer, Dave Diani's crew defeated Bucknell in the first round of the NCAA tournament Friday. Up next, they travel to Clemson, South Carolina, to take on Georgia in the round of 32. And that match will start at 1 o'clock Friday and air on ESPN+. Plus. Coach Jim Barnes-led Hawkeye volleyball team returns to the court this Friday. They'll take on Minnesota in Minneapolis and then return, return home Sunday to take on number one Nebraska at the Extreme Arena. Fans are encouraged to wear black on Sunday as the team hosts their annual blackout game. Both games will air here on the Hawkeye Radio Network and the official Hawkeye YouTube channel. And in wrestling, after dominating the Trailblazer duels, uh, uh, Coach uh, Clarissa Chung and the Hawkeye women's wrestling team returns to the mat this weekend. They'll be on the road at the Missouri Valley Open. And that's the Hawkeye Women's Sports Update, courtesy of the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments, from volleyball to wrestling, tennis, and much, much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at We Got Next. Org. U.S. Bank scoreboard is on deck. We'll get you caught up on uh, the other games in the Big Ten versus the Big East. The Gavit games, uh, the Big East Big Ten Challenge. That's next as we count down to tip off a late start tonight, a little after 9 o'clock from Omaha, the Hawkeyes and the Creighton Blue Jays. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. 
At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Which schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Director's Cup for the 2023-24 college athletic season? You can follow the standings of your favorite school or alma mater at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. That's thedirectorscup.com and L Directors Cup on Twitter. Trophies will be awarded in June 2024 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Director's Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Welcome back to Omaha, the CHI Arena. It's had a couple of ch- name changes down through the years. Quest, I think when it first started uh, back in the uh, early 2000s. Uh, and CHI, Colorado Health Institute. Bobby, help me out. Is that Catholic Health Initiative? What is it? Catholic Health Initiative Catholic. out of Englewood, Colorado. There are a lot of the Mercy properties. Catholic Health Initiative. All right. Greg McDermott uh, was telling us uh, a little bit ago, you'll hear Mac uh, shortly with Coach Fran McCaffrey, that uh, this helped change a lot of things for Creighton basketball. It was, it was always good basketball. And back in the day of, uh, you know, Paul Silas and Bob Boozer, it was, uh, it was phenomenal basketball. But you get an arena like this, uh, it, it's uh, it's like having an extra recruiter on your staff. Oh, it really is, Gary. This place holds 17 plus, 17,500, I think, to be exact, and it'll be full tonight. They got a great student section that's right by the Iowa bench behind the basket there, and uh, it's dollar beer night, so uh, it's going to be a rowdy oh, boy. crowd here at the CHI Health <laughs> Center uh, just uh, down on the Mississippi Road, Missouri River uh, down here. But you're right. I remember when they used to play in the old downtown arena last Civic, time we were here. Civic Center. Civic, Civic arena. Center, you bet. So this is a uh, an NBA type of arena here with a lot of activity. The College World Series, Creighton Baseball, right across the street. Got a beautiful baseball stadium. This downtown has reinvented itself, hasn't it, with the TD, what is it, TD Trade America baseball uh, stadium yeah. where they have the College World Series. And the Big Ten tournament has been held here. I know Rick Heller uh, talks about... Uh, how wonderful it is uh, for all the teams to be here in downtown Omaha at once and playing in the Big Ten tournament every year. Uh, it's, it's always been a great baseball city. Uh, the Omaha Royals, the Kansas City Royals AAA team for a, a lot of years. The uh, Kansas City Kings used to play. Now the Sacramento Kings used to play a, a game or two here in Omaha uh, when they were uh, housed or based out of Kansas City. So Split time, yeah, the KC Omaha Kings. I can remember as a kid. In uh, probably eighth, ninth grade, coming over here with our coaches and uh, brought the team over to see Nate Tiny Archibald. Scott Wedman lighted up here at the old arena downtown. The great Tiny Archibald, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, you know, that franchise goes back to the Cincinnati Royals days. Of course, I grew up idolizing Oscar Robertson. Uh, he was uh, just a, a phenomenal six foot five. He could play three positions and one of the most powerful guards forward uh, ever to play the game. Uh, now out in Sacramento where Keegan Murray is uh, making waves. Keegan had a great game last night. I uh, got to watch it this afternoon on replay as we laid around the hotel on uh, NBA TV. I think Keegan came alive at like 25 points Ooh. and knocking down threes. He is just a phenomenal basketball player just in his second year with the Sacramento Kings. And uh, Chris, of course, still cutting his teeth with the, the Portland Trailblazers. Well, let's talk more college basketball. This is the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Uh, At U.S. Bank, they know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. U.S. Bank is committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. 
Other games involving Big Ten teams tonight, uh, most notably in this, the uh, Big East Big Ten Challenge. Providence hammered Wisconsin. The Badgers fell uh, out in uh, Rhode Island, 72-59 to Providence. Number two ranked uh, Duke has just gone final with fourth ranked Michigan State. And the Dukies defeat the Spartans 74-65. Michigan State had just 20 first half points in that game and rallied back to within three. They were down 11 at the break. Uh, Tom Izzo's crew came back to within three, but Duke pulled away in the final minute and went at 74 65. Penn State a winner over St. Francis of Pennsylvania. Uh, obviously not a Big Ten Big East matchup. 83-53 the final there, Penn State. Uh, Illinois and Marquette are at the half down in Champaign-Urbana and fifth-ranked Marquette has a 36-31 lead on the 25th rank of I-9. Northwestern uh, not in the event this year. Northwestern does lead Western Michigan 44-38 with 14 minutes to play uh, in that game. Other scores uh, of interest. Northern Iowa hosting Loris College and leads 62-28. Five minutes into the second half. Ben Jacobson's club over the Dewhawks, 62-28. Second half at the McLeod Center. And uh, Drake has an 18-point lead on Southwest Minnesota State at the Knapp Center, 55-37 that five minutes deep in the second half around the country ninth ranked Tennessee beat Wolford 82 61 number six UConn destroyed Mississippi Valley State 87 53 10th ranked Florida Atlantic uh, hit the century mark beating Eastern Michigan 100 to 57 game still in play these are early second half scores Uh, Texas A&M leads SMU 42 34 It's Alabama 57, South Alabama 26, and Gonzaga has an early 14-9 lead on Eastern Oregon. Later, it's Kansas and Kentucky. That's the other part of that Champions uh, event that involved Duke and Michigan State uh, tonight. Kansas and Kentucky play at uh, 8 o'clock. Well, actually, that's just underway then. We'll get an update on that as the evening wears on. 17th-ranked San Diego State will entertain Long Beach State. Kansas City is at 20th ranked Baylor and USC ranked number 21 hosts UC Irvine. The uh, college football playoff rankings, the updated playoff rankings out tonight show the Iowa Hawkeyes in 16th position. No threat to the final four yet, but the Hawks keep taking baby steps and climbing up the ladder. Of course, Kirk Ferentz could care less about that. Uh, His sole focus is on uh, Brett Bielema and the Fighting Illini who come to Kinnick Stadium Saturday afternoon. 2.30 kickoff, 12.30 for the pregame show here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. This is the uh, championship week for the Iowa High School football playoffs, so the best of luck to all of the entrants. And they'll uh, start those title games Thursday, 8 player at 9.30 a.m. It's Bishop Garrigan Algona versus uh, two-seed Bedford. Bedford 12-0. And Bishop Garrigan, 11 and 1. One o'clock game has the Class A title at stake with uh, number two Woodbury Central versus number three West Hancock. And then uh, Class, did I say 1A? Class A at one o'clock, Hancock and, and Woodbury Central. Uh, Class 1A game is at four. That pits MFL Marmac against Grundy Center. Grundy Center, the top seed there. In Class 4A at seven o'clock Thursday night. It's one seed Western Dubuque and two seed Council Bluffs Lewis Central right across the uh, Missouri River. That should be quite the game. Top two seeds there. Then Friday, the 2A final at 10 a.m. Pitts Van Meter and Central Lion George Little Rock. Again, the top two seeds. Class 3A at 1 o'clock. Uh, Helan out of Sioux City versus Williamsburg. And then Class 5A, uh, the big school championship at 7 o'clock on uh, Friday night has... The uh, number one seed, Southeast Polk, at 12 and 0 versus seven seed, Ankeny, who is 9 and 3. So it's an all Des Moines Metro final in 5A. Yeah, congratulations to all those uh, schools out there. And uh, now, where we live out there, my wife Mary and I are following the Williamsburg Raiders, who are in the championship game there coming up on Friday night. So good luck to all of them. That's the U.S. Bank scoreboard. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Up next, we'll hear from the head coach of the Creighton Blue Jays, Greg McDermott, the Iowa native. He's on deck. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. 
Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Does your company attire make you feel like you're always fourth and long? It's time for a change. Hand the ball off to Authentic Brand and watch your team transform into MVPs. On game days, our team dresses like champions in Authentic Brand. Ensure that your company's reputation remains untarnished by using nothing but the label specifically designed to display your company's identity. Ask your supplier for Authentic Brand products and see for yourself why it's more than just a label. It's a statement. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hey, it's your friend, Social Media. You know, where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting because we all have struggles and challenges like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. Talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to. Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame coverage tonight from the CHI Center in downtown Omaha where the Hawkeyes and the Creighton Blue Jays meet in the Gabbitt Games, Big Ten versus the Big East. Let's hear from uh, Cascade native uh, Greg McDermott, heck of a player at Northern Iowa. He's won over 500 games uh, in 30 years as a head coach, 450 at the Division One level, his 23rd season and 14th uh, at uh, Creighton University. He's led the Blue Jays to a Big East title, a Sweet 16 appearance, and, of course, last year an Elite Eight and darn near a Final Four. Coach Greg McDermott joins us. 14 seasons at Creighton, a great city, wonderful arena, tremendous league. Uh, you've certainly settled in, found a home. Yeah, it's a wonderful city, Doff, and, uh, you know, they, it's a basketball place, you know, without a, you know, like the state of Iowa, without a professional sports team, uh, we're it. So, you know, the arena will be rocking tonight. It's fun to have Hawkeyes over here. It's been a long time, uh, and obviously a lot of Hawkeye fans, and especially on the across the river there in western Iowa. So, uh, but it, it's it's been a good stop for me. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's terrific. Real happy for you, Coach. Uh, lots of offense by both teams here in the first week. Uh, Talking to Fran today, uh, I know he's trying to figure out how to defend the, the Blue Jays, and I'm sure you're doing the same. Yeah, don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be yeah, entertaining. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's going to be a fun game. Uh, you know, I think both programs, uh, you know, transition offense is a big part of what we do and, and giving the giving our players the freedom of, to make plays in transition uh, is something that obviously Fran's done a great job of for a long time, and, and we've gotten better at here the last five or six years in our program. 
of, of letting these guys attack and have a little fun playing the game and then, you know, shoot a bunch of threes and hope they go in. So it's, uh, you know, it, this is this will be a very entertaining game from a fan perspective. Neither team fouls very much, so I, I don't think there will be a lot of stoppages. We'll, <laughs> we'll be in and out of here pretty fast. And you weren't always that way. You were uh, quite deliberate in your younger coaching yeah. days. Where, where did it change? Yeah, when I was in Northern Iowa, we controlled it, even Iowa State to a certain extent. Really, probably Doug's freshman year, we, uh. we, uh, uh, we qualified for the CBI. And uh, there was a 10-day break between when, when, when he went into the CBI and when we actually played a game. And imagine guys aren't real motivated to play in the CBI. So we, we had a seven-game NBA-type final series, and I played the young guys versus the old guys, and I decided to have the young guys play with a bunch of pace because uh, I felt like we had some, some guys in that class that had a chance to do that, Doug being one of them. And then we were just fortunate, I think, in the second game we played Davidson in the CBI. And Bob McKillop is one of the all-time great You're coaches good. in – plays with tremendous pace and because of that we beat him 102 to 94 and and then i started to study what they were doing and and now anybody that's you know good in transition i try to pick some stuff from them as well it's it's a fun brand to coach golf and we you know we throw it into the cheap seats every once in a while making a mistake but it's a it's a fun brand of basketball not a bad way to start with uh, doug mcdermott in your lineup <laughs> uh, boy i really like uh Kalkbrenner. uh you know you lost a, a great player to, to gonzaga uh, but uh, Trey Alexander has stepped right in. Those two guys have been difference makers. Yeah, you know, Clark Brenner and Trey both went through the NBA process this year. Um, Baylor Shireman did it a year ago. So they, they all three tested the waters and decided to come back. And they've been terrific leaders for us. And, and the most important thing when you get guys like that, they want to win. And they'll do whatever. And they, you know, Clark Brenner had zero points the other night against North Dakota State at halftime. And he's not hanging his head at, the, at halftime. And I was a little upset we didn't get him more touches. And we took care of that. Uh, to start the second half but they're, they're about the team they're about the program they're about being successful you know we were a free throw away from the final four last year uh, they're motivated to try to get us back to that point so at least we have an opportunity to try to do it again well uh, mac no no more bohannons no more murray's uh no more utah's or Wees camps but <laughs> he Fran, keeps finding he them. keeps finding <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i should throw garza in there yeah, too yeah. But, well who who impresses you in the, just in this short season we've had so well far. you know S S sanford I, I watched him in high school and you know darren devries at drake we recruited yeah. tucker a lot so i was there uh watching them and and you know w watched peyton grow up and and you know his game has developed so much and you know we i have a lot of respect for what perkins does and he brings to the team um you know so he has our full attention um Cricky's really fit in well with yeah. you know that he provides some some skill on the inside he's a skilled passer he can um, you know, he can attack some bigger bigs. He gets into their body. And then I really like that freshman class. I mean, I, I hope they're nervous tonight in front of our crowd because I, I really like, you know, they've come in and, and at, at some at, at sometimes you feel like they've elevated the play when they, they hit the floor. They just play without a lot of fear. Uh, and, you know, Hawkeye fans are going to like having those guys around for quite a few years. Well, hi to everybody back in Cascade. Yeah, you know, but Bones took a nap. You know, I talked to him. I said, "You got to take a nap so you can stay up tonight." Your so, buddy Bones. yeah, he's he, your your cousin and my good friend. He'll be uh, he'll be sitting on the couch all settled in tonight. But it's uh, we're we're a long ways from Cascade, dog. Yeah, but it, yeah. I, I wouldn't trade a thing about the way we grew up. Uh, we've done okay, man. Great to see you as always, buddy. Good to see you, pal. The Hawkeyes lead the all-time series with Creighton by a 14-11 margin, but the Blue Jays have won five of the last seven. Uh, in this series. The Hawks will be back home at Carver Hawkeye Arena Friday night against Arkansas State. That is a 7 o'clock uh, tip-off, 6 o'clock for the pregame coverage here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Tony Perkins leads the Hawks onto the big stage of Carver Hawkeye Arena. Coach McCaffrey brings back three starters and welcomes an array of instant impact playmakers. Plan your next trip to Carver Hawkeye Arena. Visit HawkeyeSports.com or call 1-800-IA-HAWKS. In a minute, we'll hear from Iowa head coach Fran McCaffrey. He's presented by your Iowa John Deere dealers. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Into the action with the Fight for Iowa podcast. Join host Gary Dolphin as he takes you behind the scenes with Hawkeye coaches, athletes, and alumni. Tune in weekly on HawkeyeSports.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Your front row seat to Hawkeye Athletics. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, 
call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment, committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care, and service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment, knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to Wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. And Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the Eastern Iowa Airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit the hotel at Kirkwood.com. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Welcome back to uh, Omaha, where the Hawkeyes uh, take on the Creighton Blue Jays here shortly on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Time now to hear from Iowa basketball coach Fran McCaffrey, he's sponsored by your local John Deere dealer, your Iowa John Deere dealers, including Sinclair Tractor in Bloomfield. The Hawks hit the road for the first time this season. Uh, tonight, number eight Creighton awaits here as part of the uh, Gavit uh, tip-off games. Iowa's first game against the Blue Jays since 2011. And I mentioned to Coach McCaffrey, it has a NCAA tournament feel to it. Yeah, you know, and that's quite honestly, Duff, what the, the Gavit games are supposed to be. Early season, uh, really good matchups, you know, Power Five programs. Uh, Creighton, of course, in the preseason top ten. A lot of guys back from last year's team, so the atmosphere is always great here. It's a great opportunity for us. The Hawkeyes have taken great care of the basketball the first uh, week of the season. Uh, Fifty uh, assists, thirteen turnovers. I know that pleases you. Well, that's. That translates to winning. I mean, you can't turn it over, especially like, when you go on the road, you can't turn it over. Uh, this is a big, strong, physical, athletic team. I put pressure on the ball, put pressure on the next pass, fight you in the post. So you've got to be able to come down the floor, whether it's in transition or at half court, execute your stuff, get a good shot opportunity, maybe get a second or third, and then get your defense back. Coach, what, what if anything, have you told the first-year kids, the freshmen, about uh, – not only their first road game, but uh, what this environment's going to be like. Well, you know, until you really get out there, there's nothing you can say about it. I mean, they've obviously watched it on film. We've shown them clips, and they know what it's like. They've watched games before. They've been to games at this level. Uh, so you just prepare them in a very businesslike manner, as we would any other opponent. And what happens is that's what they hold on to out there. When it's crazy and it's loud, you have a game plan to hold on to. You've got four guys out there that are helping you. You know, I can say some things. That a lot of times won't be able to hear me, but I'm usually pretty good at, you know, getting information that's important without constantly saying stuff. You know, I'll let them think for themselves. Terrific honor for uh, Owen Freeman this week, uh, Big Ten Freshman of the Week. Uh, read between the lines. What's that, what's that mean for the kid? What's it mean for the program? And uh, you recruited him. Well, I think the world of Owen, he's a terrific player. He's a 
even better person. He just keeps getting better. And you can see it in his confidence. And, you know, when a young guy works really hard and performs well, as a coach, you're just thrilled to see him be recognized for what he's doing. So I just think it's something that uh, probably won't be the last time he gets it because uh, I'm going to play him. He deserves to play. And tonight will be a big opportunity for him. He's only played a few games, but what's pleased you most about his development? What are you seeing? Well, he's affecting the game at both ends, and he's affecting the game in transition. And he's a terrific athlete. He can really run, so he fits perfectly into our system. Uh, I, I think as you watch him get more and more confident with his offensive game, he's really going to be something because there's no question that he's, he could be a 10-rebound-a-game guy on the other end. Well, let's talk about the Blue Jays of Creighton. Uh, what are the keys defensively? Uh, they got four guys averaging in double figures. I'm sure it starts with Alexander. Well, you know, I, I guess you could say that, but I think it kind of starts with Kalbrenner because they they throw it into him. Alexander is a handful, like you said, Dolph. I mean, he's great in transition. He's great off the bounce. He shot 41 percent from three last year. So guys that are that quick and that explosive don't typically shoot the ball at that number, uh, but they do a lot running their offense through the big fella. It's 7-1. They do a lot of screen roll, pitch to the rim, throw it in, cut off of the post, and take advantage of his size. Uh, they use him a lot, obviously, in ball screens. So if you're up, he's, he's rolling hard, and you got to deal with that because if you don't get there, if you don't tag the roll, you know, he's going to get a pitch to the rim. So they really stretch you defensively in pretty much every area. And Greg brought in a couple of other pieces that uh, complement these guys well. He lost a couple to the transfer portal and, and gained two. Yeah, and, and, and the guys he gained are both very good. I mean, Ashworth, we know. We played him two years ago at Utah State. He made 111 threes last year, really smart, tough kid. Uh, Nemhart and Kaluma, two guys they lost, were really athletic. These guys they brought in, you know, Isaac Trout, they're, they're good athletes. Uh, probably better shooters than those guys. So it just gives them more weapons from three-point range. It stretches the defense even more. Coach, good luck tonight. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it, Dolph. Yeah, the uh, Isaac Trout that Fran mentions, the Nebraska Gatorade Player of the Year in 2021-22, 6'10", 235-pound forward, redshirt freshman from Grand Island. Iowa offered Isaac Trout in the recruiting process, and he decided to stay home uh, within the Cornhusker State. Thanks to Coach McCaffrey. Thanks to our Iowa John Deere dealers for bringing you his thoughts on tonight's game with the Creighton Blue Jays. Sinclair Tractor is your premier John Deere dealer serving southeast Iowa, western Illinois, and northeast Missouri. Stop by and experience how we strive to earn your business every day. Visit SinclairTractor.com. Is your small business ready for a big promotion to support and celebrate small businesses? United Healthcare and Hawkeye Athletics are teaming up for the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio promotion, social media recognition, and much, much more. To enter, just visit HawkeyeSports.com slash UHC. United Healthcare, a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Bobby Hansen's on deck. He has the club car wash keys to a Hawkeye victory tonight. That's next. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. 
We have teams dedicated to each cancer type with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org slash cancer. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. Thank you for joining us on the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Iowa, leading the nation in biodiesel production. Welcome back to the CHI Center in downtown Omaha. Gary Dolphin with Bobby Hansen. We're a few minutes away yet from the start of uh, Iowa Creighton in the Big Ten Big East uh, Gamut Games. The Big East Big Ten Classic. Uh, got Marquette and Illinois hooked up in a honey down in Champaign or Urbana and uh, of course television is waiting waiting for uh, that game to conclude before they join us here for the start of the Hawks and the Blue Jays so originally it's a nine o'clock start we're probably looking at nine ten at the earliest maybe uh, closer to nine fifteen but it doesn't matter we'll be here whenever it gets going and uh, root the Hawks on right now Bobby Hansen's ready with his Club Car Wash, keys to the game, sponsored by the official car wash of the Iowa Hawkeyes. That's Club Car Wash with unlimited membership starting at just $20 a month. There's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com and find a location nearest you. Keep that salt, snow, slush, sleet, winter grime off uh, your pride and joy uh, this fall and winter. Stop in at Club Car Wash. We're... Today was $10 ten dollar Tuesday <laughs> once again. It comes around quick, doesn't it? You got to be ready for uh, it. Yeah, I mean, I, I like those around. Monday night or Tuesday games because we can get a plug in for yeah. ten dollar Tuesday. Well, uh, Robert, um, you heard Greg McDermott say that uh, his three veterans that are all Big East preseason picks, uh, led by Trey Alexander and and Kalk Brenner, uh, Iowa's got a trio of guys that need to step up with solid floor leadership i know we're confident they can and they look forward to this challenge you saw the guys around the hotel today they're they're fired up you know they want to play quality opponents and of course i speak of patrick mccaffrey peyton sanford and tony perkins they need to lead those uh, that four freshman class out of the woods tonight of competition yeah they really do gary and uh, that, that's coming down to my uh, my third and the final uh, the key to the game will be be the play of the upperclassmen there there uh, peyton Patrick and uh, Tony Perkins. But number one key, <laughs> I think everybody knows it the way these two teams play here. There's going to be a lot of deep shots uh, here tonight taken at the CHI Health Center. The three-point line is the number one key. Creighton uh, has 30 made three-point field goals in their first two games. That's 15 a game. They had 18 in the game versus uh, North Dakota State. So they're going to come out firing. Iowa's got 21 made threes, Gary, which, uh, which team wins this key? 
probably wins the game. Whoever shoots it the best will, will win this game, obviously. But um, we're young. You know, get some rookies that'll be out there for the first time. Hope they can settle in and, and knock some shots down. So when you play against Creighton, you got to play that three-point line. Run them off that three-point line. Make them dribble. Make Baylor Shireman get in there and dribble into some defensive traffic. you got to be under control in your closeout. Be at the shooters when they catch the basketball so they don't have any space. Get up underneath them. See if you can rattle them a little bit. So all 10 of these Creighton Blue Jays, that'll play. He only plays 10 guys, but they can all shoot the three. All of them have at least taken one, and nine of the 10 guys that play have made a three-point field goal. So whoever can connect from deep early, I think, will get control of this game. And if you can keep that up, you'll win the basketball game. It's going to be an exciting one here tonight for this sold-out crowd. The second key is going to be rebounding. So three-point line shooting and rebounding, always a key for the Hawkeyes. But listen to this number right here if you're paying attention. Creighton is plus 23 on the boards after two games. They have out-rebounded opponents by 23 rebounds in the game. The Hawkeyes are up four on that, so nobody averages double-digit rebounds. There's only uh, the guys all, nobody more than seven rebounds a game. A lot of guys right around five rebounds a game. So all five of their players crash the glass. Rebound and run will be the theme for both teams here tonight. So if you can control that board, keep that big Kalkbrenner off the offensive glass. He may not get his hands on it, but he will tip it out. And what happens when he tips out those rebounds, Gary? three-point shots so you got to be be aware everybody got to be locked in to gather around the free throw line area in the paint to get those loose scrum rebounds the third key that i, I thought about this afternoon was compete you got to compete on every possession make creighton uncomfortable ball pressure heat on the passer be the first one on the floor get those 50 50 loose balls they got to go the hawkeyes way and it, to your point gary the hawkeyes need solid games from your leaders tony perkins Patrick McCaffrey and Peyton Sanford. They're going to be guarded. Greg knows that these guys are all capable scorers, but big-time players step up in big-time games. Uh, Bobby, uh, you played a lot of minutes as a freshman on a Final Four team. Uh, how does this class of recruits, including, by the way, Big Ten Freshman of the Week, Owen Freeman, uh, approach not only their first road game against a top-ten opponent, but uh, also, how does that equate into handling the pressure? Well, you, you, these kids have played in big games, Gary. I mean, it's not like back when we were there where, you, you know, you made it your first time the bright lights come on. But they've been in big, big, uh, you know, AAU basketball games. Play, they played these kids. They know each other. They know the talent that's out there. They're state champions. Brock Harding and Owen Freeman at, at Moline. The Maroons were state champs in the state of Illinois. Those are big-time games. Lajay Dembele, he's got a great attitude about him. And, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm not worried about how these kids are going to respond. But what you have to do when you're a young player, Gary, you don't have to make a shot. You don't have to make a three-point shot, but you got to go get a rebound. you got to play some defense. you got to get a tip ball. you got to get down on the floor, get a loose ball, do something positive. Then your teammates will pick you up. You'll settle into the game a lot quicker. Who wants those 50-50 balls more, right? I got, got you. Those are Bobby Hansen's keys to the game, courtesy of Club Car Wash. Log on to clubcarwash.com and find a location nearest you. Hawk fans, you too can experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-suite hotels. That would be the Homewood Suites and Home Two Suites by Hilton, each offering guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, a pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family. When you visit Hawkeye Country, Homewood Suites and Home Two Suites by Hilton. That's where the Hawkeye Radio Network team stays. Next, we've got the Mid-American Energy starting lineups and the Farmers State Bank tip-off. Right around the corner, Iowa Creighton from Omaha is straight ahead. This is Hawkeye basketball from their field. Equity salutes today's hero of the game as a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season. Please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. 
What are you craving? The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, across from DMAC, is proud to offer dine-in and carry-out. Home of the famous flying tomato pizza and Chicago-style deep dish, the Wig has all of your favorites, including thin crust pizza, appetizers, lots of sandwiches like the Turkey Club and Reuben, soups and salads you'll love, and a full bar. Call to order or just come on in for lunch and dinner. The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, what are you craving? Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering the Hawkeye Steel, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon call, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Welcome back to Creighton CHI Center for Big Ten Big East basketball. The Hawkeyes and the Creighton Blue Jays from Omaha. Head coach Greg McDermott in his 14th year uh, here at Creighton has got quite a lineup to start this season. And obviously when you get to an Elite Eight and potentially a Final Four, recruits around the country notice. And they've taken notice of Creighton, which has always had uh, terrific basketball here. That's all they have, basketball, so they can focus and donate their time to uh, round ball uh, not having football. Time for our starting lineup sponsored by Mid-American Energy. Mid-American Energy makes reliability a slam dunk with a balanced energy mix of wind, solar, and other sources that ensure you always have the power you count on. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. For the Blue Jays, 2-0. They've averaged 97 points and two easy victories and give it up just 57 a game. They'll start at guard, the transfer from Utah State, Stephen Ashworth, 6'1", 170 pounds, senior from Alpine, Utah. Only member of the team that's married. Uh, and uh, of course had a couple great years at Utah State. The Hawkeyes uh, handled him or defended him quite well, Bobby, up at, uh, up at the Pentagon in Sioux Falls when they Took on Utah State, beat Utah State handily a yeah, few years ago. A couple years ago, yeah. He's a good player, though. He's only six foot one. He, he's small, but I'll tell you what, he shoots it like Jordan Bohannon. You better be there on catch with that kid. Make him put it on the floor, run him to your, your defenders where they're at there, and then he'll he'll give it up. But if you leave him sitting there, Gary, he is a dead eye three point shooter. How dead eye? 64% shooter from the field through two games, 60% from three. He's averaging uh, 12 points and four rebounds. Uh, his first couple games. Then there's Ryan Kalkbrenner out of Florissant, Florissant, Missouri. The center, 7'1", 270 pound senior. Uh, Kalkbrenner, a uh, preseason first team all Big East pick. All Big East pick. Mason Miller at a forward. That's Mike Miller's son. It is. Former star uh, from South Dakota. Uh, Terrific NBA player for a lot of years. Uh, Mason uh, Miller grew up in Houston when Mike was with the Rockets down there. From Germantown, Tennessee, now 6'9", 190 pounds. Well, actually, he transferred in from Houston. Uh, born in uh, Germantown, Tennessee, Mason Miller is 6'9", 190, a sophomore. Averages eight points, five rebounds. He's a 50% shooter. Yeah, he, <laughs> the old man could shoot it there. Yeah, he went to Houston High School there in Memphis, and that's where they got him. They got another teammate of his down here as well, that Jonathan Lawson. You remember those names, that Lawson family played uh, down there with uh, Mike down there with the Memphis Grizzlies when he was a star down there. Trey Alexander will be at a guard and he is the drinkster of this team. 6'4", 190 pound junior from Oklahoma City. Averages 21 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists 
through two games. 71% shooter from the field. Not the free throw line. He hasn't missed a free throw either, by the way. And 33% from three. So he's a driver. He gets to the rim. He does it all, Gary. He's a defender. He's a driver. You get him in the open court. He'll rebound the basketball. He'll rip it and go. Get all the way to the rim. You got to make sure you pick him up when he gets to half court and gives up the basketball because he surrounds himself with shooters. But the guy you're going to announce next is the one that concerns me. Watching him warm up, he was automatic here tonight. That would be Baylor Shireman, former star at South Dakota State from Aurora, Nebraska. Came back home a year ago. 6'7", 205, and a senior. We saw Baylor and South Dakota State in the NCAA tournament a couple years ago out in Buffalo when the Hawkeyes, uh, they didn't play South Dakota State. They played Providence, uh, but uh, got a great look at Baylor Shireman and uh, uh, felt his worth. He is a terrific player. Shoots 55% from the field, 46% from three. Uh, Greg McDermott will bring uh, Jonathan Lawson off the bench, Jason Green, uh, Francisco uh, Farabello, Young man from uh, Argentina, averages seven points, three boards. He's six foot three. He's a rebounding guard. Uh, and uh, I Isaac Trout, 6'10", redshirt freshman from Grand Island, who Iowa offered in the recruiting process. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification We're at the top of the hour. 10-second ID break from Omaha, where the Hawks and Creighton are going to get it going here shortly. You're listening to Hawkeye Basketball. Hawkeyes and the Blue Jays out on the floor. We get going here in about five minutes, we're told, or at least with the starting lineups officially announced. For the Hawks, 2-0. They've averaged 104 points in those two victories, given up 68 per game. Fran McCaffrey in his 14th season, uh, as is Greg McDermott. DeSante Bowen, 6'2", 183-pound sophomore out of Boston. desante has been spectacular taking care of the basketball. And how important is he tonight with the pressure that Creighton uh, we'll put on him on him and the Hawks. They really D up Well, what you got to do when somebody D's you up like that Gary when this kid to Alexander uh, is gonna Trey Alexander is gonna be picking him up at half court desante has got to use his his uh, natural ability and that's quickness You got to be able to control the basketball don't turn it over don't get going too wild But you can't go backwards. You have to be going forward You got to attack attack Trey Alexander and get his hands off and they're going to have their hands all over you. Fran talked about it during the shoot around here today. It's get their hands off you when when they put them on there early in this game and will draw attention to the referees. Tony Perkins will be at a guard 6'4", senior from Indianapolis. Tony's averaging 11 points, 6 rebounds through two victories. Peyton Sanford, 6'7", junior from Waukee. Peyton Sanford, uh, he can play uh, the big guard, small forward, and uh, he's had a a couple of profitable games offensively for Iowa out of the gate. Patrick McCaffrey's averaging 17 points and four rebounds. The 6'9 redshirt senior from uh, Iowa City High. Excuse me, Iowa City West. And Ben Cricky, the transfer from uh, Missouri Valley Conference Power of Alparaiso, 6'9, 245. Uh, a graduate student from Edmonton, Alberto, uh, Alberta. Uh, Cricky's averaging 16 points and six boards through two Iowa victories. The Hawks will come off the bench with that freshman class led by Brock Harding and, and Owen Freeman. You'll see Price Sanford. The Sanford family is here in full force tonight, uh, sitting right behind us. Lodgy Dembele, very impressed with Lodgy's work the first couple weeks of the season. The youngster out of St. Benedict Prep in Newark, New Jersey. So there you have it. Tonight's starting lineups for this Big Ten Big East showdown between the Hawks and the Creighton Blue Jays. Our starting lineups courtesy of Mid-American Energy. Mid-American makes reliability a slam dunk with a balanced energy mix of wind, solar, and other sources that ensure you always have the power you count on. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. The Farmer State Bank tip-off. And opening tip coming up next between the Hawks and Creighton. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. 
Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. To find an agent near you, visit shelterinsurance.com and switch today. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by 988 Lifeline. There is hope. 24-7. Call, text, or chat 988. West Bend, the silver lining. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye basketball by your local Ford dealers and by authentic brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at authentic-brand.com. It's game time. Out of Peyton Sanford, across the court to McCaffrey. Here's Sanford for three more. Yes, sir. Here before. And a foul. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Here's Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen. Ah, uh, not an empty seat in the house. Between 17 and 18,000 here at the CHI Health Center in Omaha for the Hawkeyes and the Creighton Blue Jays. The Big Ten Big East Challenge. Most everything else uh, has gone or will be gone final here in this event. This is the last game of the lot. And Marquette uh, hanging on to a 68-64 lead over Illinois. That's fourth-ranked Marquette leading the Illini by four with 25 seconds to go. Earlier tonight, Providence beat Wisconsin 72-59. A couple of other Big Ten teams were in action. Number nine, Duke, over Michigan State, 74-65. That's gone final at the uh, State Farm Champions Classic. Northwestern has defeated Western Michigan, 63-59. Penn State topped St. Francis of Pennsylvania, 83-53. And here we have the Hawks and Creighton, both at 2-0. and 
Kentucky and Kansas are underway. That's a two-point game midway through the first half. That's the very latest on the U.S. Bank scoreboard update. If you missed it, the Hawkeyes are up. Hawkeye football now 16th in the college uh, football playoff measurements. Uh, Georgia is number one, Ohio State two, Michigan three, and Florida State four. That would be your final four if the season ended today. But, of course, the season doesn't end today or this weekend. There is so much to be decided here in the next couple weeks, uh, including the Hawkeyes and the Fighting Illini, who kick off at 2.30 on Saturday afternoon here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Amazingly, only Purdue has been mathematically eliminated from the Big Ten uh, championship game in Indianapolis out of the West Division. Only Purdue. Our opening tip tonight is brought to you by Farmers State Bank. Farmers State Bank earned $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Farmers State Bank. Visit MyFSBOnline.com. MyFSBOnline.com for complete details. Subject to approval. Minimum $50 deposit. Requires e-statements and direct deposits. Member FDIC. Farmers State Bank. What would you say it was dollar beer night? Somebody, Somebody did tell me that. There's... A lot of cans are all around us. All, we're tight quarters here at uh, the CHI Health Center, but tell you what, they're ready to go, and that was a long pregame there, Gary. Thank tell you, you all those listeners, for hanging in there with us. <laughs> it starts any later. I may send you up to the concession stand Oof. for, for a 16 ounce Some milk and cookies would be good, too, about this time. <laughs> I'm, I'm usually laying in bed at this hour listening to radio. But for those of you that do retire early, our buddy Bill Quinby in Cedar Rapids at, at assisted living home there. Bill, a great friend, longtime uh, NFL and college uh, football official. I think he was Evie, Evie's student manager, if I'm not mistaken, back in the 50s. Bill always listens in at this hour. How you doing, Bill? Go Hawks! Wherever you're at around the Midwest, thank you so much for joining us on the Hawkeye Radio Network. This will be one of the better games we see all year, Bobby, right yeah. here, and it's early still in November. Yeah, it, it really is. you got a number eight ranked uh, in the AP poll, Creighton, number seven in the coaches poll, and uh, you heard Coach McCaffrey talk about it. This is like an NCAA tournament feel to it, even though we're here on a home court of Creighton, but uh, it's not one and done. Nothing uh, to really worry about here. That's what the Hawkeyes got to come out here with nothing to lose, Gary. Just come out here, and as the motto is for Creighton, let it fly. you got an open shot, drain it. I told Peyton Sanford and Brother Price, you got an open one, don't miss. Knock it down. The officials tonight Earl Walton, Rob Riley, and Courtney Green, all assigned by the Big Ten. The road team assigns the officials. Here we go. Ball's in the air, and Creighton controls the tip with seven-footer Kalkbrenner. Again, Courtney Green, Rob Riley, and Earl Walton, three veteran Big Ten officials. They throw it right inside to Kalkbrenner. He backs in on Cricky. Shot up, blocked away by Cricky. At least it looked like a block, but got him with on the forearm. Got him on the forearm and two free throws. It's not a good way to start the game, but you know Creighton's going to feed it right inside. And he initiated the contact. Fran's talking with the referee about that and just ducked the shoulder right into Big Cricky and uh, misses the first free throw. But Greg McDermott, uh, he didn't get a lot of touches in the first half of the game against North Dakota State. Second half, they started with the uh, touches into Big Kalkbrenner and got him going offensively. So you see that's the, the plan here tonight is to get the ball inside the... Cricky, Cricky is just a 33% free thrower, Bobby. So the Hawks, Kalkbrenner. although you don't want to get in foul trouble. No, we don't want Big Ben Sorry. Cricky to, to be out of the game here with the next one. So, uh, well, Fran, Fran's stating his case, uh, making sure that they're aware he wants it called that way at both ends. One of two free throws for Cricky. Creighton has the early lead at one nothing. Bounce pass, uh, Kalkbrenner, excuse me, the foul on Ben Cricky. 
Man to man is Creighton. Boy, they really crowd that three point line. They run you off that line. Peyton Sanford gets around his man, drives in and hits a looping one handed jump shot right of the lane. Iowa's up two to one. I like that because you called it, Gary. He was up, Baylor Shireman was up inside of Peyton Cricky's jersey. Peyton put it on the floor and got the uh, little runner from 10. Trey Alexander, their superstar. Tony Perkins guarding him. Now Kalkbrenner comes way out top of the circle. Cricky giving chase. There's a, ba a Baylor Shireman stop and go move. Cricky has him on the switch, drives around him and scores. Tough guard for Cricky. 3 2 Creighton. One minute gone, opening half. Here's McCaffrey to Cricky. Cricky 17 feet from the basket. Back to McCaffrey. Gets a screen from Cricky. Back to Ben. His jump shot good. Cricky, the lefty. Pounds one in from 18 feet. Good play that time by the Hawkeyes. Patrick, the dribble penetration on the left side. Pet playing off two feet. The pivot. Kick it back to Cricky for the 15-footer over Kalkbrenner. Kalkbrenner has it. Cricky chases him off the three-point line. Now a give and go. And a steal by McCaffrey. Try to jump pass into the corner. Hawks get the first turnover. Here's Bowen all the way to the basket. Now to the wing. McCaffrey's open for three. No good off the uh, front of the iron. Just a little too strong. Rebounded at by Alexander. They're running the other way. A three is good. A lefty three from Baylor Shireman. That's what he does. That's what he does. And he was calling for the basketball. Alexander found him open far right corner. Shireman now has five to lead the Blue Jays. Six to four. Cricky muscles his way in. Uh, Creighton with the lead, but not for long. As lefty Ben Cricky went right at the big fella, the seven-footer. Kalkbrenner and ties the game at six. This is what do. we expected, back and forth, end to end. Take up that space when a shot blocker. Alexander got around Sanford. Peyton bothered the shot, though, and he misses the layup. Sanford shooting in transition. Nails a three. Wow. About 25 feet. Peyton Sanford feeling it early. He's got five points. Iowa has a 9-6 lead. That's what you're going to see all night long. Both teams letting it fly. Rebound, rip, and run. Iowa now guarding the perimeter. Here's Shireman. Boy, he lets fly from a long distance. Rattles it in. Tie game at nine. Boy, has he got a quick release. He does. I said that's a lot like Chris Mullen, the old St. John's Golden State Warrior. He doesn't need much space. Got to make him go to his right. That time uh, floating that way and got it. The jumper to yeah, drop. That's a great comparison. Bowen tries to give Iowa the lead back around a screen by McCaffrey, but misses the jump shot. Spot on, top of the key. Now a backdoor pass for Cricky, or for uh, uh, Kalkbrenner, guarded by Cricky. And uh, Cricky rode him out underneath, and he misses the jumper. Cricky now around Kalkbrenner. Jump shot, no good. A lot of contact, no call. We're running the other way. Stephen Ashworth with it. Alexander, a stop and go move. Whirls into the paint. Step back jumper is good. Five quick points by Creighton. It's 11-9, Blue Jays. Several lead changes early. Perkins gets into the lane. Short strings a jump shot. Tickled the twine, but missed the iron. They're running back. A lob three in transition. No good. Rebounded by Kalkbrenner, and he's fouled by Peyton Sanford. 11-9 Creighton. 16-24 to play first half. Well, I know this. Whoever's in the best physical shape will win the game. Yeah, I, I like the Hawkeyes conditioning under Bill Maxwell. It does a great job. But, man, this is racehorse basketball. Stephen Ashford right there shot that. Caitlin Clark range from the logo here 35 feet away. First free throws up and no good for the big center. Kalkbrenner, he's been there three times now, made one. Stephen Ashford, man, he let that thing go from right in front of us. That, that lob set shot three. Second free throw, in and out, no good. Strong rebound by Perkins. Hawks shoot for the tie. Three and a half minutes into the opening period. Tony circles center of the floor. Cricky's open for a wing jumper. Good. Kalkbrenner's not going to chase him out there. No, in Darren Ben Cricky to, to shoot that shot. Cricky now is three out of three by my count. Uh, three out of four. He's got six points. Here's a pass inside. Knocked away from Kalkbrenner. The Hawks are doubling him when he gets down low. He's demanding that basketball. And that time Sanford was fronting him. Cricky from behind and good job Peyton. Really good job by the Hawkeyes on that one. And you, you're seeing Kalkbrenner not a really good free throw shooter. So if he gets there close, got a foul. Alexander for three is strong. Rebound tipped and controlled. Peyton Sanford to Patrick McCaffrey. Patrick trots into the front court. Skip pass to Cricky right of the lane. Ben's got the hot hand. Hands off to Sanford. He's open for three. Step backer. Good. 
Pricky with a, not only a great handoff pass in stride for Peyton, but he set up a beautiful screen. Peyton got eight points now for the Hawkeyes. Peyton Sanford three out of three and didn't need much space to squeeze that one off. That one was deep. Hawks back in front, 13 to 11. Off Sanford's second three. Alexander muscles his way in on Tony uh, Perkins. Boy, a lot of contact initiated by Alexander and by Tony Perkins, and he ties it up as he kissed it in off the square. 13 thir- or 14 13. Creighton by one. Cricky tries to give Iowa the lead, does again. Who is Cricky? White hot. Man, oh man. Cricky got eight points. Yeah, he's feeling it. That veteran is saying, Give me the basketball. Four out of five from the field is Cricky. Iowa 15. Creighton 13. Here's a long three from the wing. In and out, no good by Alexander. Rebound run down in the corner by Iowa. Tony Perkins leads the charge down the floor to McCaffrey. Back to Tony. Tony walked with it. Tony trying to get a little too cute with the dribble and stubbed his toe and committed the turnover. Saw the opening right there. If he would have just went with his instinct, that right-hand dribble drive, he tried to cross over and go to the left. 16-13. I don't know. I've seen four different scores. They don't know if that it was a three by uh, Peyton Sanford or not. I think it was a three. I thought it was, too. Well, they'll check it It out during the break. 16-13 Iowa. They have corrected it. All right, so the Hawks are up three, 16-13, and we've only played five minutes. Yeah, that's what we expected. That's what we're Great getting. Great start by the Hawks. How can they keep this pace up? Both teams, we'll find out. We're from, uh, we're in Omaha and from the CHI Center. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Walmart. Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime... But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Hawkeye is shooting 63.5% and 66% from three. They've made two of their three tries. Peyton Sanford and Ben Cricky doing all the damage, Bobby. Well, it really is playing with confidence, too, and uh, like the veteran leadership by those two men right there. All the points scored, all 16 points have been scored by Ben Cricky and Peyton Sanford. Sanford will come out of the game uh, and give way to his little brother. So this is where the bench has got to come in and keep that momentum going and keep that tempo up tempo like the like the uh, starters got us off to a great start uh, here come the couple of the freshmen Bryce Sanford and uh, Owen Freeman the Big Ten freshman of the week Cricky stays in with the hot hand Perkins will stay on the floor and Josh Dix grew up about 15 minutes from here in Council Bluffs likewise I see Josh get going from deep with some get him settled in there with some made baskets yeah, he's a three-point shooter too we get back to action Creighton basketball with Iowa leading 16-13, the rebounds are five aside. Alexander with a screen, throws into the corner. A couple substitutions for uh, Creighton Mason Miller, and here's a turnover. Pass deflected away. Tony Perkins comes up with the Creighton turnover after Iowa had turned it over before we went to break. Hawks have a chance to get their biggest lead for the basket. Cricky muscles inside, has a shot blocked, but caught it, and then is called for travel. You look like a lot of contact to me there. Going hard with the left hand and 
Frederick Good King. Man. Yeah, King was all over him with the body. No call. 6'10", 250 pounder from the Bahamas. France Second. let Courtney Green have it. Second turnover uh, on the Hawkeyes. Back-to-back -back possessions. Here's King in for a dunk. On a shot fake by Shireman. Everybody ran to Shireman. And King was open on the weak side back cut. And he used all of his 250 pounds to plow that thing through. 16-15, Iowa's lead cut to one. Dix to Cricky. Can he hit another one? He sure can. Rattles Ooh. it in. Oh, man. The Missouri Valley Conference leading scorer of a year ago showing why. He's got 10 now. Ben Cricky is uh, almost perfect. He's five out of six on the floor to lead the Hawkeyes. Ashworth drives it in deep down the right side of the lane. Chased off there. Here's a steal. Bad pass. Perkins has Troy Alexander to beat at the other. Trey Alexander and does. Half dunk, half layup by Perkins. Hawkeyes force a turnover on the Blue Jays and lead it 20 to 15. Iowa's biggest lead at five. Shireman for Alexander. He's looking to get his game going. Drives in on Perkins. Good job, Tony. And then a throw away by Alexander. Stolen away by Price Sanford. A three in transition. No good. Rebounded by Ashworth. We're running back the other way. Three on two. Alexander to the basket. Hook layup. Blocked away by Owen Freeman. Right back to Alexander. Here's Shireman for three in the corner. No good. Rebounded by the Hawkeyes. Price Sanford now with his second board. King hits the deck. Perkins into the front court with a high bounce dribble. Takes it right in the circle. Jarman has him uh, on the switch for Dix to Freeman. Freeman drives a pass left wing for Sanford. 10 to shoot. Here's Cricky. Thought about a three. King went out to meet him. Here's Price Sanford. Turns the corner. Hook pass to Cricky. Left of the lane. Banked it in off the square. Cricky cannot miss. He's unconscious. He can't. He's got 12 points to lead. The Hawks. The play was made, though, by the young kid, Price Sanford. The dribble penetration. Looked like he was going to scoop the layup up there. Whipped it over his shoulder to the open Ben Cricky for another hoop. Seven-point lead for Iowa. Hawks have run in six in a row. 22-15. End of the game now for uh, Creighton is Big Isaac Trout, who was offered by Iowa. Here's a drive inside, a score, and a foul called on Owen Freeman, I believe. Yeah, yes. Is that Shireman who turned the corner? Shireman, yes. Yeah, boy, what a player he is. Baylor Shireman at South Dakota State until uh, two years ago came to Creighton, and boy, are they happy for him. He's a Nebraska native. He'll get a free throw when we come back. 22-17. That ends the mini run by the Hawkeyes. Shireman hasn't missed a free throw here in the early season. So the Hawkeyes, it's been, a, it's been a mood swing here. One run by one team. The other team responds. I guess we expected that. And back and forth we go with 11.53 to play in the first half. Iowa 22, Creighton 17. Hawk fans, you can drive your team to a win this season by filling up with unleaded 88 with quick rewards at any quick start location. Fueled up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88, and you automatically enter for a chance to win great prize packages throughout the season. Quick start, proud partner of Hawkeye Basketball. This is Hawkeye Basketball, courtesy of Walmart, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Our law firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. What happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst 
brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom, press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hawkeyes are six for their last seven. And Ben Pricky has most of those. Tony Perkins with a nice steal and a layup. Iowa leads 22-17 over the uh, seventh or eighth ranked Blue Jays, depending on which uh, poll you pay attention to. Ratings don't mean a whole lot in November, but it's a conversation piece. Brock Harding is going to come in at the point for the Hawkeyes. It'll be Sanford, Laji Dembele, Owen Freeman, Brock Harding. So the four freshmen and sophomore uh, Josh Dix. What a moment for these young guys, Bobby, with Iowa in front, out in front by five. And uh, we're not quite halfway through the first half. I love what Fran talks about. He's like, we got depth. We got depth on this team. We can go 12 deep. Right now they're going 10 deep, but uh, Evan Bruns yet to play in the game. But he says you only have depth if you play your guys. And love the fact he has this uh, belief in his guys, uh, the trust in his guys. Shireman's in double figures. He makes the free throw. Brock Harding, uh, Brock Harding misses a quick jump shot at the top of the key. And now Creighton trying to run out and beat the Hawks down the floor, throws it away. Rebounds are seven aside, and that was one of your keys to the game. Hang in, hang in there with them on the boards. Yeah, hang in there with them on the boards. Go after uh, what you can on the offensive glass, but don't let big Kalkbrenner tap those things out for, for threes. Kalkbrenner's back on the floor. Here's a jump shot. No good by Dix. It looked good all the way, but too hard off the heel of the iron. Alexander leads the break back. Layup good. He hits the deck. Hawks are running the other way. 22-19, Iowa. The Blue Jays have responded with back-to-back hoops. Here's Dembele for three. Scores from deep in the left wing. Lucky number 13, Dembele pushes the Hawks back in front by five. Shireman around a screen by Kalkbrenner. Step back, jump shot is too strong, no good. Dix runs the rebound down to the open floor. Leads a two-on-two break back the other way. A trailing Price Sanford throws up three. No good, it's short. Off the left uh, of the iron. Owen Freeman scrambling for the rebound. Picks it up. Now they're on the floor and will have a jump ball. And it'll stay with the Hawkeyes. Good a 50-50 ball. What an effort by Owen Freeman. Absolutely. Great effort by Owen Freeman. He almost had it a couple times in there. Finally had to go to the deck and scrum it out of there and retains possession for the Hawkeyes. 20 on the shot clock. He and Kalkbrenner and big Isaac Trout. Well, Iowa offered in the recruiting process. Young man out of Grand Island. He decided to stick with the home state. Hawks on a throw in. Here's Freeman. Shot take drives in. Shot is no oh. good off the glass. Great move. Did everything but make the shot. Owen Freeman. What a start he's off to in his freshman year. Here's Alexander. Now to Fairchild, or uh, Farabello. And a foul. Owen Freeman, that's two. On uh, 6'10", Owen Freeman. So he's going to have to come out. That's too bad. He wasn't, yeah. he wasn't out there very long. Sanford, Peyton Sanford comes back and will join his brother on the floor. No price is coming out in favor of Patrick McCaffrey. Got a rebound here with this lineup. Not real tall. Lajan's got to crash the glass. They get it inbounds. Out front for Alexander. He's looking for the big seven-footer, Kalkbrenner. Now they clear a lane for him. He drives inside, and Kalkbrenner scores, and it's foul. Uh, give and go with the two stars. Trey Alexander and Ryan Kalkbrenner. Alexander did all the heavy lifting. Kalkbrenner just set it up and in. Yeah, Patrick McCaffrey just a little bit late in rotating over there to get in front of big Kalkbrenner late, and then he hacked down his first foul, Patrick. Five team fouls on the Hawkeyes. That right, Creighton has not committed a personal foul. Kalkbrenner's free throw is good, so the and one brings uh, Creighton back to within two. 25-23 Iowa. 10 minutes, 15 seconds to play. Here's Brock Harding to Dembele. Throws up another jump shot. No good off the right of the iron. Hit a three a moment ago. And back with it is Farabello. He is quick, too. Here's Alexander driving in deep on Dix. Leaves it for Farabello behind him. He hits a three. And a foul called on Peyton Sanford. Tough one right there. Peyton just trailing him a little bit. He says he didn't touch him. Courtney Green calls a foul on the arm. So, four-point play is in play. <laughs> Fran's claiming that Farabello fell back and uh, there was little if any contact, but 
Call was made. Ben Cricky's going to come back in. Is that two on Sam? Two on Peyton. Oh, boy, boy. No fouls called on Creighton, and that is Iowa's uh, sixth uh, first half. 6-0 Creighton run. They're back in front. 26-25. Make it 27-25. Francisco Farabello, senior out of Argentina. Now the crowd is into it. Got to respond. Pass on the wing to uh, Dix. He traveled with it. Uh, that was right in front of uh, Earl Walton. That's, that's an easy call. Three turnovers on the Hawkeyes. So Josh Dix will come out for Tony Perkins, and Fran's got to come back with his starters. Perkins and Bowen. 27-25 Creighton. Starters plus Lajou. Peyton's got the two fouls. That's right. Thank you. Well, here's Alexander. Always keeps the pressure on with that ball. Waist high, and he's always penetrating. Here's a lob feed for Kalkbrenner inside. Back out front to the wing. Stolen away. That pass by Shireman. Picked off by Tony Perkins. Tony bounces to Bowen. Bowen to McCaffrey. Back to DeSante. He split a double hit. First foul. A double team, excuse me. And finally, we have our first foul on the Blue Jays. Wow. Ten and a half minutes in. Not a shooting foul. It's on Farabello. Ashworth will come in for Baylor. Shireman, he leaves with 11 points, leading scorer. Cricky with 12, leads Iowa. Let's get Cricky back with the basketball. Those are the two in double figures. Here's Bowen, left of the goal underneath. Got a hurry, gets it out to Cricky. Right wing, 9.20 to go first half. Two-point game, Creighton on top, 27-25. Dembele to Cricky. He lobs up a long two and misses. Rush that shot a little bit. And here's little six foot Stephen Ashford with the rebound racing into the front court. Farabello looks for help. Hawks are crowding that three point line, running him off that line. Alexander stumbles into the lane. Farabello's open for three, misses. Perkins skies for the rebound. Good defense by the Hawks in the half court. Here's Tony heading the other way. Bowen puts the ball on the floor, drives around, scores off the glass. He can do that. He's got great takeoff ability. Ties the game at 27. That ends a two-minute drought by the Hawkeyes after they had hit six and seven shots. Turned on the Jets on that one and got an easy right-hand layup at the rim. Ashworth beats Bowen into the paint, turns, throws the ball back out to Kalkbrenner. Now on the wing to Alexander. He misses a three, didn't follow the shot. Patrick McCaffrey beat him to it. Hawks have three on two the other way. Open for three. Tony Perkins way short. Kicks to the corner where Farabello runs it down. We're running the other way. Alexander all the way. Shot blocked away. Great job of catching up from beyond. Was that Dembele? Maybe? Patrick. Patrick. Patrick McCaffrey with the swat away on Alexander. Boy, does he attack the, the basket. Every possession. 7.55 to play. First half. Tie game at 27. Here's a hook pass to Tony Perkins. Pull up jumper. Good in motion. Got his feet set. Shoulders squared that time. And Knocked him down. He was red hot at the shoot around this morning. He really was, and uh, he's shooting that three pointer. This time he took two dribbles inside the three point line, and that's his game. That mid range 17 foot jumper. Tony Perkins with four. Hawks with back to back baskets, and Iowa's back in front 29 27. Here's Alexander into the corner, long three, no good. Great settling for threes. They take a ton of threes. And here come the Hawks putting the pressure on Perkins again. Missed the jumper, but. Getting underneath them, I think, is, uh, no, not uh, Alexander, it's Farabello, his personal, and we come to an official's timeout. He's got both the Creighton fouls, Creighton. two on him. Creighton shooting threes, the Hawks are attacking the basket. Got to keep attacking. Got him on the run. Lead change after lead change. <laughs> we'll sort it out in just a minute. The Hawks went through a two-minute drought. Now Creighton is 0 for its last four, hasn't scored in two and a half minutes. Nine lead changes hmm. in the first 12 minutes. Not unexpected. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season. Like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular. 
built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with the University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. 9 lead changes, 4 ties in 12 minutes. Iowa has the lead for the moment. 29-27 doing a spectacular job of taking care of the basketball. Just 3 turnovers, 5 for Creighton and several of those have come in the last minute and a half. Obviously a little sign of fatigue, Bobby. Yeah, when you're going to run like this and uh, I like the way that when the Hawks can get out and go, they're not afraid to get down the court with you. You want to run with us? We'll run with you. Hawks doing a nice job taking care of the ball. Just 3 turnovers, Gary. They've come up with 4 steals. Uh, and five turnovers on Creighton. They're yet to have a steal. Baylor Shireman is back in the game for the Blue Jays. He's got 11 points to lead them at the free throw line as Tony Perkins shooting two makes the first. 78% from the foul line in the early season. Tony's starting to heat up now. He's got two baskets in the free throw. 30-27 to 27, Iowa. 7.20 to go in the first half. 31-27. Well, it's a very good free throw shooting team at 70, almost 75%. Creighton struggle a little bit at 68%. Now the 1 2 2 press. Almost got a five second call. Here's Ashworth dribbling up, crossover dribble, gets it to Sharman into the front court to Farabello. And we play on. McCaffrey has the six footer Ashworth on the switch to King Jr. Sharman. A deep three. No good. And the rebound knocked away from Dembele. It'll go to uh, Iowa. Dembele had both hands wrapped mm-hmm. around the, the strings and uh, had it punched away. On top of that, had a good box out on the, the Blue Jay uh, offensive rebounder there. Went and got him and knocked out of his hands. Frank King, I think it was. Big King, Frederick King. Hawkeye ball. Creighton three for 12 from distance. Hawks have one more rebound than do the Blue Jays. 14-13. Here's Cricky. Leads the Hawks with 12 points. Drives a pass to Perkins. Pulls up in heavy traffic. Missed the jumper. It kiss, kicks long to Cricky. Now to McCaffrey. Patrick's only taken one shot. Patrick drives down left side of the lane. Holds up. Now to Cricky who's trailing him. Cricky oh. lost the dribble as he ran into Big King. And a turnover on the Hawkeyes. Unforced error. Here they're running. Farabello for three. Good. Points off turnovers. 6.14 to go in the first half. 31-30. Off the bench, Farabello, two threes. He's got seven total points. He's been a huge boost for Greg McDermott and the Blue Jays. Bowen holds up high post right. Oh, tough shot. Double teamed and tried to force a shot up. Box had not been good with their shot selection. Here's Miller. Now to Ashworth running. His three, no good, clangs off the glass. Stolen by King. Oh. Took it away from Pricky and lays it up and in. King's been huge off the bench. He's giving him some muscle in there, physicality. That one's just unfortunate bounce for the Hawkeyes. Tricky had it and then dropped it. Now the Hawks' shot selection at the other end has contributed now to their deficit. 32-31. Here's Tricky. Turns the corner on King. He's given away about 15 pounds to Perkins. 10 to shoot. Tony gets around King and missed the runner off the glass. Whoa. Got knocked to the floor. No call. Here we come the other way. Shireman into the far corner to Miller. His three is in and out. No good. McCaffrey. Now King takes it away from McCaffrey. Misses the jump shot. Gets it back. Now we got a jump ball. Jump ball is called. Bodies all over the floor. Got to love the effort by both teams. We're going to call a foul on DeSante Bowen there. And a one and one coming. That's a tough call. Didn't see that. Yeah, I uh, didn't see that either. But Miller going to shoot the one and one. Fran McCaffrey is really unhappy with Come on, that's uh, a jump ball. Earl Walton. 
Oh boy, Miller. Now the Hawks have put uh, Creighton in the bonus. Miller's just a 50% free thrower. Creighton has the lead, 32-31. Miller makes the first. A lefty, son of longtime NBA star Mike Miller. Yeah, that's a tough call on mm. Bowen. Especially when both players had the basketball. Would have been possession arrow to Creighton, but give him two points. Makes both free throws. Iowa's in a two-and-a-half-minute drought. Five minutes to go first half. Now Creighton goes up by three, 34-31. Seven-point run for the Blue Jays. Tony Perkins short springs a jump shot and a foul called on Shireman. As Ben Cricky with a strong offensive rebound. And is, how many is that on time? Just his first, okay. Kalkbrenner comes in for King, and he's going to get a great hand. Then a boost. Frederick King out of the Bahamas and NBA Academy Latin America. 6'10", 250 pound sophomore. And he has been terrific. He and uh, Farabello off the bench. Iowa keeps the basketball, not a shooting foul. 4.50 to go till halftime. McCaffrey drives in, he's fouled. That's what you got to do. Attack it. Take it to him and get those whistles. A shoving foul. Now Greg McDermott is unhappy, yelling for a jump ball. Free throws coming for Patrick McCaffrey. 34-31. Creighton has scored the last seven. Patrick's been outstanding at the free throw line. He's, he's been a good free throw shooter his entire career. 92% and makes the first. 34-32. Iowa's back to within two. That ends a 7-0 Creighton run. Second free throw, he talked it down. Two big free throws for McCaffrey. 34-33. Creighton by one. 4.48 to play till halftime. Here's Ashwood. Dribbles between a double team, gets across the timeline, holds up. Reverse dribble. Center of the floor where the Blue Jay lives. Charman picked up that foul a moment ago. Gets it to Kalkbrenner. Now to Ashworth. Covered up by Perkins. No chance to get a shot away. Eight to shoot. Miller for Alexander. He'll get something going to the basket. Drives in on Bowen. Bowen muscles him up. Ashworth shot up. No good. Blocked by Patrick McCaffrey. Fox would have had a run out. He had the ball. And a, and a slam dunk. Patrick, That's a good defensive recovery there. And blocked the shorter Stephen Ashworth. Three-point attempt. Two blocks now. For Patrick and had the basketball and would have been a run out dunk for Pat. Half a dozen turnovers on Creighton. Hawks shoot for the lead. Down 34-33. 4.15 to play first half. What an entertaining game as we knew it would be. Bowen gets around two defenders. Takes it deep into the paint but now reverses back to the wing. Holds up. Skip pass. Right of the lane to Cricky. He's double teamed. It's a cutting Tony Perkins inside to Josh Dix. He can't get a shot away. Right back to Cricky. Cricky goes in. He's fouled by Kalkbrenner. Nice shot fake. Got the big fellow off the ground. He did, and the clock was winding down. Ben Cricky, the veteran, knew what was winding down and did what you're supposed to do, Gary. That's attack the basket. Ball fake, shot fake. Get him off his feet and go to the free throw line for two when we come back. He'll get two free throws. Set up the best zone defense from home heating costs this winter. Tune up your furnace. Seal up drafts around your home and visit midamericanenergy.com. Find more ways to keep warm with less energy. Midamerican Energy. And the University of Iowa Healthcare has the game plan for your same day healthcare needs. If you need treatment for a common illness or minor injury, visit one of several UI Quick Care or Urgent Care locations throughout the Iowa City Cedar Rapids corridor. Their care and expertise will help get you back in the game. UI Healthcare, proud to sponsor. Your Iowa Hawkeyes. Your Iowa Hawkeyes are tooth and nail battling the seventh-ranked team in the country. 34-33. Creighton has the lead for now. This is Hawkeye basketball. Sponsored by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield and Learfield. 
Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye Games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Well, if you love college basketball, you're loving this one tonight. Creighton, Greg McDermott, Fran McCaffrey at Iowa each have been at their respective schools for 14 seasons. They know how to recruit. They recruit to their own system, and it has been fun to watch. Ten lead changes, four ties. Creighton has the lead for the moment, 34-33 here at the CHI Center. But Ben Cricky shooting two free throws. Yeah, the Hawkeyes 45% from the floor, 43% three-point shooting, three out of seven. Rebound numbers are about even, 17 to 18 in favor of Creighton. But uh, good basketball game. As you mentioned, a really good college hoops here early in November. Cricky ties the game with the first free throw, can give Iowa the lead. Lefty lets fly, rattles it in. Cricky with 14 points, leads Iowa. Don't forget, Peyton Sanford picked up his second foul at the 9.55 mark. That's seven minutes ago and the Hawks still lead at 35 34 it really hurt when they lost him and I was leading scorer but they're playing solid defense Hawks have turned it over only four times here's Farabello he's been hot off the bench drives inside nearly threw it away Shireman guarded by Dix drives inside goes two different directions and traveled on the second move outstanding defense by Josh Dix Force that travel. Hawkeyes have been playing outstanding defense all of this first half here. Really forced them into some tough shots. What they did right there, run them off the three-point line, Gary. We are there on catch. Force them into some tough spots. Called for the travel. Seven turnovers on Creighton. Hawks have flipped it over six times. Three and a half to go. Till the intermission. 35-34 Iowa. Asante Bowen, Josh Dix, Ben Cricky, Patrick McCaffrey. And Tony Perkins on the floor. Here's P-Max. Splashes down a seven-footer just inside the lane. Inside the uh, right key. The elbow. And Iowa back up front by three. Six Iowa points off Creighton turnover. 6-0 run for the Hawks in the last minute and a half. It's been a, it's been a game of 6-7-0 runs by both teams. Iowa has... The 11th lead change in its favor, 37-34. Alexander scores on a layup. Just too fast, too quick with the ball in his hands. Got around Josh Dix. Took off from the right wing straight to the basket. 37-36, Iowa. There's Cricky dribbling the ball out front. Missed McCaffrey on a backdoor cut. Now throws to Dix. No time to panic. 17 on the shot clock. And at that, Cricky travels. Yeah. He's trying. He's out there. Big King is uh, King jumped in, in his, his way. In his uh, driving lane there. Had plenty of time on the shot clock, though. That's five turnovers on Iowa. And now Creighton shoots for the lead with 2.25 to play in the first half. 37-36 Iowa. Alexander, they go four in, one out. Alexander drives a pass left wing to Farabello. Farabello turns the corner on Bowen. Gets inside, scores. Brian McCaffrey. Not happy with that defensive set. Points off turnovers for Creighton. Parabella big off the bench. That's nine points. 38-37. Parabello, well, he's averaged seven in the first two games. He's beyond his, his average here in the early season. Cricky, a long jumper, and down it goes. Top of the circle. They've had no answer for Ben Cricky. 
And he puts the Hawks back in front, 39-38. So that Creighton, that Creighton lead was short-lived. <laughs> it's, it's had 11 lead changes, and Ben Cricky is like, give me the basketball. They cannot guard me. Perkins guarding Alexander. Step back jumper, no good. Rebounded by Iowa. King had it, but Cricky tipped it away from him. Bowen, coast to coast, has the shot blocked out of bounds. Asadi challenged the double team, and that was easy for Baylor Shireman. As he and uh, Farabello were back uh, in Desante's gun sights. Yeah, Hawks the, keep the ball, though. From the backside, it was Trey Alexander with the defensive play to block the shot. 39-38, Iowa's lead is one, and the Hawks keep the ball. 25 to shoot, 123 to play in the half. Get a good shot here. Lachi Dembele comes back in. Here's Bowen. Cricky comes out. They're trying to protect Ben from another foul before halftime. Dembele bangs into King, turns, shoots, and scores. Whoa. How about the freshman? Running into the big 250-pound guy, knocked him down. Yeah, shot that one with confidence. Five points, Lajay Dembele off the bench, and there's no fear in that freshman. Miller tries to tie it with a corner three and does. Well, that's not Miller, excuse yep. me. That's Isaac Trout. Wide open. It's a defensive miscue there. Tie game at 41. 47 seconds to go in the half. McCaffrey takes it in deep. Pull up jumper. No good by Patrick. Put back Pat is good. A slap back by Tony Perkins with a defender hanging all over him. But Tony had a step on him and cut in weak side and put it back up and in. Hawks with a big offensive rebound and now lead it by two, 43-41. That's what a veteran guard's supposed to do. Just clean up what comes off there. The missed shot, Tony Perkins with the tip. Creighton takes the clock down to... 10 on the shot clock, 15 on the game clock. So they're going to have to try and get something off going here shortly. Alexander gets a screen from King, drives around Tony Perkins and is fouled. Tough one there. They really opened up the floor, dragged the Hawkeyes out almost to half court, opened up the, the lane there for Trey Alexander. He is so quick with the ball in his yeah. hands. Man, all biggies, first team. Perkins picks up that his first foul, just his first. That's good. 6.1 to go. So he can tie it if he makes both three throws. And he hasn't missed in the early season. Oklahoma City. Trey Alexander. Lodgy Dembele comes out and gets a nice pat on the back. Peyton Sanford comes in. Now Peyton has to know that with two fouls, they're going to try and get him a look from three as the half ends. 43-42 Iowa. 6.1 to go. Second free throw is good. Tie game. Sanford to Perkins. Hawks hustle into the front court. Perkins around his man and he's fouled. He's grabbed from behind by Alexander. That's two fouls on Alexander. With 2.9 to go. One and one. Well, Tony... Rushed it up the court. What's good, good for the goose, good for the gander. I think he surprised Alexander with his speed. And Tony got deep into the paint, and Alexander off balance bumped into him. Well, that's only the 16 foul. Hawkeye ball out of bounds. All right, so the Hawks still have a chance to get the lead with three seconds to go first half. Bowen gets it in, yeah, threw it away. Shot from half court. It's a halftime buzzer sounds, and off the heel of the iron, no good. Turnover Iowa to end the half, and nothing's been decided. 43-43 here at the break. Hawkeye basketball this season brought to you by Wellmark. Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield knows you're here for every fadeaway, every alley-oop, every buzzer beater. And Wellmark is here for every moment, too, with trusted health care coverage, committed to making health care better. Learn more at wellmark.com slash hoops. As a proud sponsor of the Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. And at the Gamer at Home, Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best tasting hot dog. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification as... The Bud Light Halftime Show approaches. 10-second ID break. At the half, it's 43-all, Iowa and Creighton. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. Our half.
halftime show is coming your way courtesy of Bud Light. Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Tie game, nothing's been decided. We got 20 minutes remaining. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. This has been the well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half on the Hawkeye Sports Network. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Iowa shot 48% in the first half, held uh, Creighton to 41%, but a 43 all tie as we greet you at halftime, sponsored by Anheuser-Busch and uh, Bud Light. Seventh rank Creighton and the Hawks all knotted up. Bobby, it's been a teeter-totter back and forth. 13 lead changes. The game's been tied seven times. The Hawkeyes have held on to the lead, though, for 12 minutes of the 20 in the first half. But they're doing everything that the coach has asked them to do. We watched practice here this morning and following that scouting plan and doing a good job on Paul Brenner. He's out of the game with two fouls. Got the Shireman, got underneath him. Trey Alexander got loose a little bit. Two in double figures for Creighton. The Hawkeyes led by Ben Cricky, though. 16 points. Really got the Hawkeyes going early. And we'll check the stats courtesy of High V when we return. 43 all at the break and plenty of fireworks to come. Our halftime coverage is sponsored by Bud Light. Proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. 43 all at the break from Omaha. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Earl Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. Only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. 
Does your company attire make you feel like you're always fourth and long? It's time for a change. Hand the ball off to Authentic Brand and watch your team transform into MVPs. On game days, our team dresses like champions in Authentic Brand. Ensure that your company's reputation remains untarnished by using nothing but the label specifically designed to display your company's identity. Ask your supplier for Authentic Brand products and see for yourself why it's more than just a label. It's a statement. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Big Ten, Big East uh, challenge here in Omaha. It's been an arm wrestling uh, event. Creighton 43, Iowa 43 at the break. Uh, free throw line, let's check that out. As uh, the Hawks uh, got their six times made, all six. Creighton is 8 of 11. That's the Latham Charity Stripe recap. Brought to you by Latham High Tech Seeds. The Hawks have a diverse combination of talent. And at Latham High Tech Seeds, you'll find the most diverse portfolio in the industry. Diversify for success at LathamSeeds.com. Now the high, the rest of the High V uh, halftime stat recap, courtesy of High V score big savings with the all new totally free High V perks membership. 43, 43, 13 lead changes, and seven ties. And we said at the top of the show tonight, uh, this atmosphere in this arena sold out, close to 18,000. Feels like a an NCAA tournament uh, game, and it's been all of that and more. The Hawks. Have won the battle of the board so far. That's critical. 20 to 18. Iowa in the first half shot 17 for 35. Three of seven from three point. Led in scoring by Ben Cricky. He's hit seven of nine shots. 16 points. Eight each for Perkins and Peyton Sanford, who only played six minutes in the first half due to two fouls. Five points for Laji Dembella. He's been, uh, he's been big off the off the off the bench. Tony Perkins leads Iowa with five rebounds. Four points for Patrick McCaffrey. Hawks need to get he and Peyton Sanford going in that second half. Shot, uh, Hawks shoot 17 for 35. That's 48%. For Creighton, two and double figures. Baylor Shireman has two threes among his four field goals and a team leading 11. Trey Alexander has 10, but he's taken 11 shots to get there. He also has a team leading five rebounds. Nine points for Francisco Farabello. He has been a difference maker off the bench. That's why this game is tied at uh, the big seven foot center uh, Ryan Kalkber uh, Kalkberger uh, Kalkbrenner has four points but uh, a couple of fouls so he had to go to the bench early in the half he played just half of that first period Mason Miller has a basket Creighton has 10 more paint scores the points off turnovers is really even 7-6 Creighton has five more fast break points and that bench with Farabello and King, that's been a difference maker, has outscored Iowa 16 to 5. Creighton shoots 41% for the first half, but the Hawks are hanging in there tough uh, due to their board work and turning uh, Creighton over seven times in that first half. At the break, it's 43 all. That's our High V halftime stat recap. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I think you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. When the game goes into overtime... But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. 
soon you'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. Halftime it is. Iowa and Creighton locked up in a beautiful college basketball game. End to end, 43 all. The rest of the U.S. Bank scoreboard looks like this. These are all finals tonight. Some in the uh, Big Ten Big East Challenge. Providence uh, uh, defeated Wisconsin 72-59. Number two Duke over Michigan State 74-65 in the Champions Classic. Penn State rolled St. Francis 83-53. Fifth-ranked Marquette went into Champaign-Urbana and held off number 25 Illinois 71-64. Northwestern four better than Western Michigan 63-59. Northern Iowa atop Loris 90-50 and Drake smothered Southwest Minnesota 87-67. Uh, in the other half of that Champions Classic, 16th-ranked Kentucky leads number one Kansas 60-49 with 14 minutes to play. Defending champion UConn over Mississippi Valley, 87-53. And uh, it was ninth-ranked Tennessee over Wolford, 82-61. Uh, College football playoff rankings show Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, and Florida State, one through four. The Hawkeyes are 16. That's the U.S. Bank. Scoreboard update. Second half coming up. Iowa 43, Creighton 43. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Burger Shed is a burger lover's dream come true. Our handcrafted burgers are made with a signature blend of certified Angus beef and smoky brisket, served with house-made pickles. But if you're looking for something other than a burger, don't you worry. We've got that, too. Check out our wide variety of shed sandwiches, salads, and real ice cream shakes. Burgers, beers, and a bunch of BS. Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive in Altoona. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. About ready to go to the second half. Iowa 43, Creighton 43. Bobby, you talked to uh, Matt Gatons uh, at the break. Uh, he had the scout on today's game. What are his thoughts? Yeah, he really liked what they were doing. Uh, you know, he liked how Ben Cricky got, got him off to a good start. Unfortunate, Peyton Sanford picked up those two fouls, but uh, just said the guys are competing. The guys are fighting. It's what you have to do. You got to you got to get them on the board. So here in the second half, and 
guard Baylor Shireman. Yeah, they're up uh, two rebounds. Bobby's visit with uh, Matt Gatons brought to you by Bowden Steiner Implement in Claremont. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye basketball. We're underway in the second half. Creighton basketball to start the second period. Here's Shireman. Oh, great pass inside. No look pass to the seven footer Ryan Kalkberger and uh, Kalk Brennan. And the uh, Blue Jays are back in front 45 43. Sade Bowen back quick for the Hawkeyes. Drives to the baseline. Throws it to Cricky. His jump shot in oh. and out. No good. Rims and comes out halfway down. Here's Alexander back with a high bounce dribble. They lob it back door. Too strong for uh, a Kalk Brenner. You mentioned at halftime they're going to try and get into the big seven footer almost every trip down now. Uh, Greg McDermott, he said he didn't have enough touches last game. He's going to get them tonight. Well, he's touched it on the first two possessions. We have a foul after the Iowa steal on the runout by Patrick McCaffrey. Yeah, I think they're going to get Mason Miller trying to get that 50 50 ball, but the Hawks have been getting them all night long. Bowen and McCaffrey. Cricky. Here's Cricky with a jump shot. Scores off glass. Tie game. 45 all. Peyton Sanford and Tony Perkins. That's the Iowa five. Ashworth running the point for the Blue Jays. Miller. Falk Brennan, Shireman, and Tra Trey Alexander. There's Alexander along the sideline. Wide left wing. Perkins shuts him down. Here's a travel on the seven footer. Falk Brenner. He's out there 30 feet from the basket. That's by design. The Hawks are forcing him out there. Cricky just giving him that three point shot, thinking, uh, you know, he wants to try to be an NBA player. You got to shoot that. He was undecided there. Shuffled the feet. That's a ninth turnover on Creighton. Hawkeyes have a chance to get the lead back 14 lead changes and eight ties McCaffrey jump passes back to Perkins he drives in around his man oh man I could hear the contact from here nailed him and no call the other end run out for Creighton a three is good by Shireman you better find him on the floor yeah do not leave that guy just go get him and face guard him once he hits one like that Tony Perkins crushed on his way to the basket but no whistle Here's Desante Bowen, backs in, bounces for Cricky. Pop-up jumper, that's way off the mark. Ben Rush that, 48-45, Creighton now with the lead and the ball. Ashworth along the sideline for Alexander, across the court. Now to Ashworth, Miss Ham, a tough pass. Top of the circle between the rings for Sherman. Drives in on Bowen, hooks it to the wing. Here's uh, the guard for three. Alexander, back-to-back -back threes by Creighton. Creighton has its biggest lead, 51-45. Hawks trying to pound the ball inside, but not getting good shots. Here's Sanford to Cricky. Now to McCaffrey. Patrick, shot fake, drives down the left side of the lane. Nowhere got to go. Got time, got time. I have plenty of time, 13 to shoot. This Creighton defense is something right now. Peyton, a step back three, no good. Short, rebounded by the Blue Jays. Alexander running ahead to the seven-footer. Layup good. Timeout, Iowa. Eight lightning quick points by the Blue Jays. And the biggest lead of the night for the home team. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Treat yourself to one of our award-winning entrees at the Machine Shed. Come get your hands around one of our famous pork tenderloins, our most popular sandwich. Served either deep-fried golden brown or unbreaded and grilled. Or try our roasted, stuffed Iowa chop that is stuffed with a warm apple raisin dressing and glazed with an apple whiskey sauce. Trust me, you won't regret it. This is Jeff Grunder, and we can't wait to have you over for dinner at the Machine Shed. I-80 and Hickman Road, Urbandale, and I-80 and Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. 
Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Creighton with an 8-0 run to start the second half. Broke away from a 45-all tie and lead it by 8, 53-45. The Hawks had to call timeout, 17-08 to play in the game. Bobby Henson caught up with Matt Gatens coming out of the locker room. Matt said there was plenty to like in that first half. Yeah, like the guys' energy and effort. I think they're flying around. We really talked about, you know, getting to their shooters and transition and, um, and even in, the, in their sets. So it's, uh, I think our guys are giving energy on that end and flying around. So we has got to keep that up now on, on the other end of the floor uh, here in the second half. Yeah, it looked like Cricky uh, really got it going. Got to get him going here in the second half. You know they like to go to Kalkbrenner to start yeah. the second. Yeah, Ben's been great. You know, he's great at that little mid-range shot, um, playing out of a little short roll. So uh, we'll, we'll try to keep doing some of that and, 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 and playing off that. But uh, we need, need a good quick start here in the second half. Uh, Kalkbrenner uh, and Alexander, the two veterans, all Big East performers, have led this breakaway here early in the second half. An 8-0 run, Bobby, in a minute 11. Lightning quick. Lightning quick, Gary. And it was back-to-back threes by Shireman. And uh, then Trey Alexander uh, ignited that 8-0 run. And then the run out right there by Kalkbrenner. Fran had to take a 30-second timeout, calm this team down. And let's see what they come out of here with down by 8. Iowa basketball. Peyton Sanford saddled with foul problems. Most of that first half is on the floor. And they need him to find his mark. Here's Bowen. For Perkins. Into the far corner for Sanford. Shireman all over him. Now to Cricky, who had the big first half. Patrick McCaffrey. Jump passes back to Cricky. High post. Runs in the lane. Throws up a jumper. No good. Kalkbrenner has the rebound ripped away. Poked away by Cricky. New possession for the Hawkeyes. Here's McCaffrey. Muscles his way inside. Looking for a jump shot. Finds Cricky. And he knocks it down. Has been his favorite spot on the floor, that 17-footer. Well, what, they, what they're doing is getting him into that spot right there. And Patrick found him, but Kalkman are just reluctant to go out there and get Ben Cricky. He's got 20 now. Now that ends an 8-0 run. Here's a poke away by Patrick McCaffrey. Reached around Mace, or Miller and knocked the ball away. Miller retrieves it in the backcourt. 10 to shoot. 16-15 to play in the game. 43-37, uh, 53-47. And Miller hits a long jump shot. That's a three, 56-47. Creighton up by nine. McCaffrey drives in on Miller and draws the foul. Miller's second. 16-02 to play. Creighton with its biggest lead now at nine, 56-47. They threw up 19 threes in the first half and made uh, just a handful. They're seven of 20. Eight for 21, that is. Five in the first half, three here to start the second. Hawks inbound after the foul. Cricky got 18 to lead Iowa. He's got a great game. Boy, they're chasing Sanford, double teaming him. He throws it inside, now back out to Cricky. Jump shot rattles in. Well, if they want to double Sanford, Cricky's going to be open for a look after look. Wide open, they're slowing re- rotation over there to get Ben. 22 points, Ben Cricky. He is now 10 of 15 from the 56, floor. 56-49. Creighton's lead chopped back down to seven. Oh, here's a long three. Good by <laughs> Trout. Isaac Trout, Trout just off the bench. Well, they're finding the range now from three. Cricky tries a long two. It's no good. Rebounding is Alexander. They're running the seven-footer. Dunks it in transition. Hawks are not getting back now. Timeout, Iowa. Fran McCaffrey cannot believe that his guys are not getting back. That's a seven-footer beating him down the floor. Twice, twice they've done that here in the second half. And he, uh, he's a second-half player. Kalkbrenner, he can run. He's not real quick. He's a pretty good straight-line runner. 30-second timeout asked for by the Hawkeyes. Now's your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa men's basketball program in serving charities in eastern Iowa. Learn more at iowaswarm.com, iowaswarm.com. And they've now taken a full timeout, so we'll step out. 15-11 to play in the game. It's gotten away from the Hawks momentarily here in the first five minutes of the second half. Creighton's up double digits, 61-49. This is Hawkeye Basketball, sponsored by Wellmark, Blue Cross, Blue Shield from Learfield. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. 
That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We are your shelter. Welcome back to Hawkeye Basketball from Omaha. Creighton using that raucous home crowd and home court advantage. What a start in the second half. They haven't missed a shot. Seven of seven, and four of those are three, Bobby Hansen. And they've gone from a, a, a 43 all halftime tie, outscoring the Hawks 18 to six in the first five minutes of the second half. Yeah, and that's a three-point shot. Four three-point field goals made there by, uh, as you mentioned, Gary, by Creighton to start it. They're just playing at a different uh, energy level right now. The Hawk, two good timeouts by Fran to slow them down. you got to find a way to score the basketball here uh, through the Hawkeyes and get back on defense. That big fella, Kalkmanner, should not beat you down the court. Seven-footers got ten points, made four or five shots, and the last two uh, came after a made three by... Uh, Creighton, then a missed jump shot. Hawks are quick shooting here to start the second half. See if they can settle down after this timeout. Second one called by Fran here in the second period. Perkins for Bowen. Screen by Cricky. Bowen, stop and go move. Gets to the basket. Throws back to Cricky. Baseline left for Peyton Sanford. He's swallowed up by Shireman. Now a jump shot is good. Baseline left for Cricky. Nice handoff by Peyton Sanford. Hawks back to within 10. Take it one possession at a time. It just keep chipping away, and you got to get some defensive stops here and put two, three, four defensive stops in a row. Ricky has all the scores for Iowa. Here's a layup good by Alexander. Backdoor, a back cut. Got a step in front of Tony Perkins, and they hit him with a beautiful bounce feed. 63-51. Patrick McCaffrey in with a left hand. Draws, draws contact. And two free throws coming. Oh, they counted the basket. Got it. And one coming for Patrick, third foul, Kalkbrenner. Did that go in? It went in. <laughs> With the left. With the left hand, he flipped it up there. And it crawled in. So Coach the is standing one. in front of us, hard to see. Just took a peek, and Patrick flipped it up there, a little finger roll with the left. Well, the whole staff was in front of us with no excuses. The good news is it's a three-point play for McCaffrey. Maybe that gets Patrick going, 63-54. Creighton's lead is nine with plenty of time, 14-20 to go in the game. Creighton's had its big run. Let's see if the Hawks can put one together. Alexander gets that 1-2-2 two, two press. Ashford gets across the timeline, then throws it away. King couldn't handle the pass, turnover. Hawks are running the other way. Sanford, a three in transition. No good, too strong. Tipped and saved by the Hawkeyes. Peyton Sanford's down on the floor. Yeah, they got to stop play. Got it to Cricky. Hit in the jaw. Knocked him out momentarily. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's awful woozy. Shireman checking him out. Uh, leaning over Peyton. I don't know if his head hit the floor after he landed or what. Not sure. He, he's he's going to be okay. It's yeah, just he, stunned he right now. Doesn't know where he's at right now. Well, he'll have to come out of the game. Yeah. Great Sorry, effort. Great effort by Peyton to save the possession. 
as the Hawkeyes have 16 to shoot, 13.58 to play. Hustle knocked it loose and took a shot from Shireman. I don't, they did not call a foul on Shireman, no. though, did they? Okay, I didn't think so. Yeah, there's a lot of contact. There's been a lot of contact all night long. Josh Dixon into the game for Peyton. So we'll see if Josh can get hot in his hometown. From across the rivers, Perkins for three. That's good. There's a start. Tony rainbows a three in from the left wing. Nice out of bounds play, as they usually are from underneath next to the square. Coach McCaffrey, the best in the business, had drawn up that play, and Perkins was loose for a three. Here's King. Count it. Oh, man. Wow. He, he, threw an, he threw an elbow. He threw an elbow into the chest of Patrick McCaffrey. Yeah, he did. And then flipped it up there. And then the whistle blew, and they count the basket. Hmm. Oh, that's a strange sequence there. Franz coming out of his jacket. 13.42 to go. 65-57. Creighton's lead is eight. And the and one for King. Boy, he has been huge off the bench. He and uh, Creighton's bench is out of Florida, Iowa, 22 to 5. He and Farabello have most done most of the damage. Nine point lead after the Hawks had gotten back to within six. Sade Bowen jump passes baseline left for Cricky. Cricky. Wild pass. He gets it under control. Now backs in on a smaller man. Throws it out front. Here's a jump shot by Perkins. Good. He's two for his last two. Keep feeding that horse. Under control. Ran him off the three-point line. One dribble inside that 19-footer from Tony Perkins. Give him uh, 13, I believe, Tony has. 66-59. Hawks back to within seven with 13.05 to play in the game. Shireman around Cricky. Layup good. Showing he's got some quicks to the basket, too. Baylor Shireman. He can shoot the ball. He can shoot the rock. That time he got an easy layup. Lulled that Iowa defense to sleep out on the wing and broke by them all. Bowen muscles his way in, up and no good. Missed it from right on the front doorstep. Did everything right, but convert the shot. Sonny hustles back on defense, and here's a drive and a score. No, it crawls off the back of the iron by Alexander. Josh Dix. Tony Perkins poked it to the corner. Dix gets the rebound. Drives back, goes in deep to Cricky. Inside to McCaffrey. He backs in on Trout. Shot up and good off the glass. Man, the contact is amazing. They let him play. Patrick with that newfound strength. He's got nine points. Took the contact. Knocked the shot in. Little baby hook off the glass. 68-61. Creighton maintaining that seven-point advantage. Alexander dribbling out near the timeline. They send four down low. Now they start the set. Here's King with a dunk. Well, the Hawks were confused about that set. They lost, they lost King. He cut weak side. Alexander so good with the ball in his hands. A line drive pass for the dunk. McCaffrey inside, throws up a shot, no good. Rebounded by Alexander. Back. Big rebounding guard is Alexander. He's going all the way, dunks it through. Fox just never went at him. 72-61. Great match. It was its biggest lead of the game at 11. Ricky lobs up a shot. It's no good. Hawks can't make anything now. And Shireman keeps the pressure on, racing into the front court with a rebound. He gets into the paint. Shot fake on Dix. Good job by Josh keeping his feet. 11.06 to go in the game. Hawks need a stop here in the worst way. Alexander, Shireman, deep three. That one's way short. King gets the rebound and a, a score. Oh, boy. And one. Got right in front. He got in front, muscled in in front of Cricky. King and Farabello off the bench have been the difference in Creighton's explosion here in the second half, really throughout the game. It's now a 13 point Blue Jay lead at 74 61. Join the Iowa Lottery VIP Club and enter to win game day tickets to see Iowa men's basketball with a countdown to Carver promotion. Play Hawkeye Gold scratch tickets today. The exciting moments, the proud moments, the hard moments. Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield is here for it all as your health care champion. Making health care more affordable with more choices for care and peace of mind no matter what comes your way. Find the plan right for you at walmart.com slash hoops. 
Officials timeout on the floor, 10.58 to play in the game. And it's been all Creighton here in the second half, leading 74-61 with plenty of time remaining. This is Hawkeye Basketball, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Nations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called? It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon call, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend. The worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hawkeyes are going to go with the, the youngsters, the freshmen, in this next stretch, trailing 74-61 to Creighton. Creighton's bench has outscored the Hawks 26-5, Bobby. Uh, Farabello has nine, and Frederick King has 11. They have 20 of the 26 bench points. That's been the difference in the game. Yeah, it, it really has. They got six points from Isaac Trout, the, uh, the redshirt freshman, on, on a couple of three-point field goals. But as, as we mentioned, he only played eight guys so far in this game. Just three off the bench, and they have all been productive for the Hawkeyes. Just Lajay Dembele with five points in the first half. Look at this shooting by Creighton in the, in the uh, second half. 13 oh, of 15 and four of five from three. Well, they were perfect seven of seven there early, I think, in, in the second half, but they came out a different team there and uh, really got their running game going, especially big Kalkbrenner protecting around the rim and then the run out. Well, here's Frederick King for the and one. Jumped in front of Cricky and got shoved in the back. Free throws. <laughs> well, I don't know where Mac found this young guy, but yeah, he's sophomore. He is something. Got 12. Biggest lead of the game. He's coming out now to a standing O. Boy, the luxury when you can rest your seven-footer, Kalkbrenner. Ryan Kalkbrenner, and now exchange him for King, and now they go back to the starter. Hawks go with Josh Dix and four freshmen. Freeman, Brock Harding at the point. He's dribbling around, stop and go move, heads to the near corner, 10 to shoot. Pull up jumpers from the baseline is no good, strong. There's Alexander with another rebound. What a rebounding guard he is. He's got 17 points. Falkbrenner's double teamed. Shireman throws his shoulder into Brock Harding. Steps back now to Alexander with 15 to shoot. Alexander crosses over Nembele and hits the jump shot. 19 points, 10, 11 rebounds for Alexander. He's a pro. 77-61, Creighton pulls away to a 16-point lead. Dembele for Dix. Josh has not been able to get going tonight with his shot. There's Owen Freeman. Again, 10 to shoot. Hawks are draining that clock down. Can't find a shot. Now Dembele for Owen Freeman. He lets fly and makes the jumper. Nice find by Lodgy Dembele. It really was. Shot clock winding down. Had his composure, did the freshman, and found Owen Freeman, who came as a safety valve. Top of the key. Knocks down the jumper. Nine and a half to go in the game. It's 77-63. Good job by Price Sanford. Swiped the ball away from Shireman, who threw it off his leg as he was falling out of bounds. It'll be Creighton ball coming in with 20 to shoot. Good to see Owen Freeman knock that jump shot down in heavy traffic. Give him some confidence. 77-63 Blue Jays. They've owned the second half. Kalkbrenner into the far corner for Miller. 
Back into the game. Here's Alexander. Gets a screen from the seven footer. Now left wing for Parabello, and he hits another three. Averaging seven points a game and two outings, and he has killed the Hawkeyes tonight off the bench. Three three point field goals total, 12 points. He and King, man. They only play eight, but those three off the bench have been spectacular. 80 63. Creighton by 17. Harding can't pull the trigger. Bryce Sanford, shot fake, gets inside and scores off glass. Pretty move by the freshman, younger brother of Peyton Sanford, who's not been a factor tonight. Foul trouble in the first half, and then injured here in the second half. Kalkbrenner throws up a three, and that's an air ball out of bounds. Here come the Hawkeyes on the run. Somebody's open. Dembele will lob up a three. It's good. Second one tonight for Laje Dembele. Shireman dove out of bounds to save the ball on that air ball by Cockbrenner, but he threw it right to Brock Harding, and the Hawks raced down five on four, and Laje Dembele never hesitated. Threw up a three. 80-68. Now another throw away by Creighton. And this is on Alexander. His teammate, Farabello, cut the wrong way, and he threw it out of bounds. 11th turnover on Creighton. Leaves the door open for the Hawkeyes. 8.06 to play. That three by Dembele brings Iowa back to within 12. A three here, and it's a single-digit number. Yeah, with eight to go, so that's what you're, you're shooting for here, Gary. Just keep chipping away. Harding gets in deep to Owen Freeman. He scores on a little give-and-go with Owen Freeman. Rock went down the right side of the key. Freeman down the left side. Ten-point game, 80-70, Creighton. Need some defensive stops. Put them together. Dix chasing Alexander on. Oh, nice pass. And a dunk by the seven-footer. Got such long arms and nothing Owen Freeman could do there. Alexander's as good a passer as we've seen. Yeah, he has got a little Tyrese Halliburton in the Indiana Pacers star. Good, good, good uh, comparison there. 82-70, Creighton. Here's Freeman. Help him out. Looks for an outlet. And threw it away. Actually knocked out of bounds. Touch last by Alexander. 7-18 to play in the game. Hawkeyes down 17 at one time. Are back to within 12 and have the ball with 7 minutes, 18 seconds to go. Hawk fans, here's a lineup ready to throw it down. The Honda HRV, CRV, Passport, and Pilot. They're ready to pounce. So your central Midwest Honda dealer. Visit great dealers like Smart Honda in Des Moines. Tell Matt Hoffmeyer we said hi. Nothing goes better with Hawkeye sports than Wimmer's Meats. Wimmer's hot dogs and sausages deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Have you heard about this new type of television experience from Epson? It's called the Epic Vision Ultra Laser Projection TV. It combines a new type of laser projection technology along with a unique Epson Silverflex screen to produce an epic 120-inch 4K Pro UHD picture that's up to four times bigger than a traditional 60-inch TV. There's no better way to watch live sports, and watching Iowa basketball play live on this big, bright TV is simply awesome. If you're a sports fanatic like me, you need to check this new Epson TV out for yourself. Visit Epson.com TV to learn more. Hawkeye basketball from the CHI Center in Omaha tonight where Creighton, 7th ranked Creighton, has an 82-70 lead on the Hawkeyes. Plenty of time left, though, 7-18 to play. 
tied at 43 at halftime. Back and forth, end to end action by both teams, really laying it out there. But an 18 to 6 start by the Blue Jays. They've come out more the aggressor to start that second half. And, and of course, Bobby couldn't miss. They hit their first seven shots. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, and a little 8 0 run there to start the, the uh, half. 18 to 6, it, it ballooned too. But the Hawkeyes are continuing to fight there. You got 7 uh, 18 to go here. In the basketball game, you got to start right here with a good offensive possession. And Fran's going to leave the newbies in. Here's Brock Harding. Holds up left wing to Dembele along the baseline. Inside to Owen Freeman. And a jump hook is down. Count it and a basket. Count the basket and a free throw coming for Owen Freeman. Well designed play out of the timeout. Yeah, Garden by, uh, I think Ashworth was in there, the little guy, and they recognized this young group, recognized the mismatch Owen Freeman had, pounded the ball down low into him. Ashworth picks up the foul, the end one coming for the Big Ten freshman of the week, Owen Freeman. He misses 67% from the foul line, but the Hawks are back to within 10. They hustle back on defense. Sturabello, dozen points, averages seven. He has been huge off the bench. Alexander turns the corner, double team, throws up a shot. Block right back to him, though. Corner three is no good. Seven-footer, Kaufman, rebounds. Another possession for the Blue Jays. Here's Ashworth. Slides along the baseline, leaves it for Alexander. He goes to the basket, lays it up and in. Blue right by Josh Dix. He nobody at the rim. Smooth. No, nobody in the lane. 84-70. Freeman loses the dribble, gets it back for Iowa. 6.25 to play in the game. Dix drives into the far corner. Freeman cross court for Harding. The Moline duo hooking up. Here they come again. A give and go. Freeman inside scores with the left hand. Went right at the seven footer. He did. Went right through his chest. What you're supposed to do when you go up against a shot blocker like that, take up the space and go right up through his, his face and get the basket. Three straight hoops for Owen Freeman. 84-74, Creighton. Here's a seven-footer, Kalkbrenner, inside. That's just a weak side cut, and they're looking for him. That's all you got to do is jump past it to him. He's going to go get with that height and that, and he's he's got what? Let's say go Owen Freeman, 6'10". Yeah, your rotations have got to be quicker from that backside. You yeah. got to get over there and get that steal. Looks like Peyton Sanford's going to come back in. He was not woozy earlier. Landed hard on his back, banged his head. A Shireman returns for the Blue Jays. Peyton Sanford back in, hoping Peyton gets hot. Yeah, about two, three, four three-point field goals in a row. 85-74, Kalkbrenner will get one more free throw. And he misses that one. 13 points, just three rebounds for Ryan Kalkbrenner. Bryce Sanford couldn't pull the trigger on a three. Shireman right there with him. Now he takes the ball left baseline to Owen Freeman. Top of the key left. No good. Rebounded by Miller. Another gangly six foot seven, 190 pounder. Son of a longtime NBA star, great college player at Florida. Mike Miller. Farabello. Two handed pass to Miller down the left side of the lane. Foul called. Lodgy Dembele went up to block the shot. And looks like he got enough of uh, Miller to where they call the personal foul. Creighton continues to attack inside. Got the lead on the strength of three or four threes out of that seven for seven start in the second half. Now they're settling for just driving it to the basket. Why not? Well, the Hawks are pulling out to the three point line to run them off that three point line. And you got to protect the rim. When you do that, Miller put his head down and goes to the hoop. Mason Miller makes the first free throw. Germantown, Tennessee. Second free throw is good. 87-74, Blue Jays. Five and a half to go. Clock starting to become an issue. Brock Harding for Peyton. Sanford. Shireman's got him all tied up. They know what he can do. Here's Freeman. Drives into the seven-footer. Call credit. Now to young Brock Harding. Drives it through the lane. Reverse dribble and a pass goes out of bounds intended for Lodgy Dembele. Couldn't tell if a defender deflected off Lodgy or not. Bryce Sanford comes out. Lodgy Dembele will come out. 
Freeman and well, Freeman stays out there. Harding comes out. Cricky, McCaffrey, and Tony Perkins return for the stretch drive. Five minutes to go in the game, and the Hawks are down 13. Alexander for Miller. They'll, they'll run some clock here. Alexander right back from Miller. Takes the ball along the far sideline. Now back to the center of the floor. Turns the corner. Hooks the pass to the wing. Now out top. Sharman's open for three. No good. Rebounded by Kalkbrenner. And another possession for the Blue Jays. Here's a corner three. No good. Peyton Sanford with a rebound. Miller shooting too quick for Greg McDermott's taste. Here's Freeman driving inside. Shoved back out by Kalkbrenner to Matt Patrick McCaffrey. He scores on a nice drive into the paint. Pull-up jumper from five feet away. 11-point deficit, 87-76. Four minutes to go in the game. The Hawks have got to get some stops. Yeah, you got to get stops. you got to put a couple three here together under four minutes to go, and then you got to hit a couple threes down the stretch. Alexander, high post right for Shireman. Shireman tried to uh, give it a go with a seven-footer. It's knocked away, but Shireman slapped it out with eight to shoot. Now Alexander's going to try and work the dribble in on Tony Perkins. Oh, and a shoving foul called on Peyton Sanford. Boy, not a lot of contact there, but said Peyton extended the arm and shoved off. 344 to go. Two hands. 344 to play in the game. 87-76. Creighton's lead is 11. And Creighton basketball when we come back. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox home comfort specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Creighton basketball and play resumes, leading 87-76 over the Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, 14 lead changes, eight ties in the first half. What a game it was, 43 all at the break. And then the adjustments made by uh, Greg McDermott and Creighton. And you know the Hawks talked about what to do with 20 minutes remaining, Bobby. But 18-6 run to start the second half by Creighton. Hit their first seven shots, four of them three. From three, and, and that's the difference in the game right now. That, yeah. that I think it was a took about two minutes, two and a half minutes to score 18 points. They they couldn't miss. Yeah, it didn't take long, Gary. Right, they uh, had to take a timeout at 15-11. So the first four and a half minutes there, and uh, they really got it going, got the crowd going into it. But after that, the Hawks have continued to compete. Iowa made five or seven of their last eight field goal attempts. Still playing. Alexander will inbound after the foul on Peyton Sanford, his third. Hawkeyes go stretch drive with McCaffrey, Tony Perkins, Peyton Sanford. Here's a long three by Shireman, and no good. And a foul called on Miller. He's over the back of Tony Perkins. McCaffrey and Pricky, who leads everybody on the floor with 24 points. Great night for Ben. He had a scintillating first half. Perkins, Sanford, McCaffrey, Pricky, and Owen Freeman. Played solid here in the second half. 
Owen takes a seven footer inside, misses the runner off the glass. Just didn't finish the shot. Good reason with that seven footer leaning on him. And uh, Creighton gets a stop with 3.15 to go. They'll spread the floor, run some clock. Up 87 76. Farabello stays in the game. Hands off to Alexander. They're all Big East guard. Alexander into the corner to Miller. He drives baseline left. Trap now on a double team. Gives away for Farabello. He drives inside, throws up a shot, no good. Never drew iron. Cricky clears. Perkins quickly into the front court. Tony to Peyton Sanford. Forces a three and three free throws coming for Peyton Sanford. Came off a nice pick and roll. And Sanford will get three free throws. That's what you want. Yep. Fouls with the clock stop and score. Three free throws with a great free throw shooter stepping up there and the obvious foul on Baylor Shireman. That is foul number two on him. Sanford can cut the lead to eight if he makes all three. This one is good. Peyton got two fouls in the first ten minutes of the game and just never really been able to get in the the flow. He's got nine for the game. Taking only five shots. Played only 15 minutes. Got knocked to the floor. Had to leave midway through the second half. Missed, what, five, six minutes there. Good news well, they, is it looked like he's okay. Yeah, he landed hard and hit his head on the floor. Makes the second free throw. 87-78. Creighton. Peyton now in double figures with 10. Hawks have four in doubles. Makes all three. There's a start, 87-79. Eight-point lead. Arabello beats the Iowa press across the timeline and waits for Alexander to come get the ball. Hawks need stops on every possession here. And Paul Brenner, uh, Brenner is grabbed by Freeman going to greet a pass. Creighton's been in a near, nearly three-minute scoring drought. Oh, for its last four. Hawks are seven of their last nine. Three personals on Freeman. Tony Perkins with a near steal of the inbounds. Crowd thought there was a little bit too much contact. 14 to shoot. Alexander drives in on Perkins and a foul called on Tony, which will put Creighton into the one and one. Well, Alexander is driving hard into yep. every Hawkeye that gets in front of him. And Tony's explaining to Courtney Green what's going on. Tony chest bump Courtney Green. <laughs> Let him know how that contact was going. Courtney Green is telling Fran to stop and get back in the box. Uh, Alexander will get uh, the one and one here. Outstanding free throw shooter. Brayton on the night is 13 of 17 from the foul line. First free throw is good. He's got 22 to lead the Blue Jays. 16 for Shireman. 13 for Kalkbrenner. And a dozen for Farabello. dozen for King off the bench. So the free throw ends a three-minute scoring drought for uh, Creighton. Makes both free throws. 89-79. 2.25 to go. Still time, but the Hawks got to get some shots up. Looking for Peyton Sanford. Tony Perkins is open for three, passed it up. Now he takes it and rainbows it through. Hesitated once and then little jab step backed up and let it fly. Over the top of Colt Brenner who fell on top of him. It should have been a four-point play there for Tony. 89-82. Creighton's lead cut to seven. Two minutes to go in regulation. Greg McDermott spreads the floor. Great effort by Iowa to come back from... I believe it was 17. Alexander dribbles around. Tony down the right left side of the lane. Misses the underneath hook layup. Good defense by Owen Freeman. Sanford with a rebound. Hawks can score here. Look out. This is a drive by Patrick McCaffrey all the way to the basket. Dunks it through. Right in the face of Kalkbrenner. It's a five-point game, 89-84. With a minute 23 to play. Yeah, that's what you got to do right there. Attack the basket, Patrick, with a two-hand dunk. Now a timeout asked for by Creighton because the Hawks had them all tied up with the 1-2-2 press. 
Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Don't go away. Station ID time. Iowa back to within five at 89-84. You're listening to Hawkeye Basketball. Hawks have battled back from a 17-point deficit here in the second half. And they're within five. And they're calling on the press now to get a, get another steal or a takeaway, Bobby. Yeah, it was 80 to 63, Gary. I'm just going to tell you that uh, 17 points down. The Hawks didn't quit. You had Dembele hit the three to pull up within 12. And then the young group came in there and really got the Hawks, uh, stayed with it. And then the starting unit came in. And now the Hawks down by five. That's just two possessions. 30-second timeout asked for by Creighton. Bobby and I are courtside in our authentic brand apparel tonight. Ask for authentic brand by name at your local retailer or visit authentic-brand.com for a 24-7 shopping experience. Got the long sleeve dress shirt on. Bobby's got his authentic brand pullover on. Thank you, authentic brand. Asante Bowen is back in. With his quickness, he's guarding Farabello. Here's Sharman looking for an outlet. Can't find anybody. Now finally gets it into Alexander. He and Tony Perkins have been chest bumping all night long. And Alexander bobbing and weaving through traffic. 20 to shoot, 105 to play in the game. Hawks are down two possessions. Got to get a stop now with 12 to shoot. They've got Alexander backed up to the timeline. He starts his move to the basket. Shot blocked away from behind by Tony Perkins. Alexander flops yep. on the floor. Good block from behind. Tony Perkins reaching over Alexander. And they'll reset the shot. No, they won't either. Shot clock's at five. What Take a they, look at it. What are, what are they reviewing? The contact, you mean? No, the flop. Oh, okay, I got you. All plays under review are courtesy of Atletico. Physical therapy is the thing you're told to do after medication, x-rays, or surgery. But what if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? The sooner you start with physical therapy, you change everything. It all starts with no prescription needed at Atletico. Take a look at the replay here. Alexander's just dribbling out the shot clock. Now he makes his move to the basket. Oh, that isn't even the possession we we're looking for. Yeah, it was, it was a good was block a, by was, Tony. Five on, yeah, on the shot was, clock. Don't have the ball underneath out of bounds, but uh, he just got knocked to the floor. And yeah, we're looking was, to see if the ball was knocked off him out of bounds. Oh, I see. Okay. No, it, it's off of yeah, uh, Tony. Tony who blocked it. So it was not to check and see if he flopped, but rather who the ball went off of. Thanks to Atletico for their sponsorship. Uh, plays under review. Five to shoot. For the Plenty Blue of time, Jays. too, Gary. Oh, yeah, 54.5 to play in regulation. Iowa down 89-84. Ball stays with Creighton. Oh, you got to love Tony's uh, physical tenacity, right? Oh, he's been taking Trey Alexander one-on-one, -on -one and Kid Alexander's tough. Tony's tougher. Six foot four, 210 pounds. Now, Frank's tough. Tony getting the game. Tony's talking to the official, Rob Riley. It'll be underneath out. Shireman lobs into the seven-footer. He has it knocked away. Oh, and a foul called. A foul called on Iowa. Kalkbrenner had three Hawkeyes around him. And the foul is called. I'm not sure who it was on. to get DeSante Bowen. Picked him out of a crowd. Well, you got a 33% free throw shooter for the one and one. Yeah, there was a lot of contact. I guess Kasani reaching in. Either way, Kalkbrenner is going to get the one and one. Hawks have to hope for a miss. It's on the way. Rims and comes out. Sanford rebounds with 51.5 to go. Hawks quickly into the front court. Here's Perkins. He's taking the game over for a moment. Sanford for three from the corner. Hit. And knocks sideways. No call. And Farabello races into the front court with a basketball and a foul on Sanford. Sanford is claiming he was sure looked like he was hit across the arm. Hammered in the corner on a on a three. 
but no call. Take a look here. Free throws coming for Farabello. One and one again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, he wasn't in the act of shooting, so it has to be one and one. And the free throw is good. Still a two possession game. Hawks have to hope for a miss here. 90 84. Creighton with a six point lead. Second free throw is good by Farabello. What a game he's had. 36 seconds to go. Hawks got to get some shots up right away. Desante looking for an outlet. Gets it to Tony. Here's Desante driving to the basket. Misses the shot. And it's out of bounds. Stays with Iowa. It'll stay with Iowa. Desante Bowen. Had a tough sled night driving into the uh, check possession here. Driving into the basket. Another Atletico review. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Iowa Corn. Throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowa. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook to learn how corn grows Iowa. Iowa Corn, a proud supporter of Hawkeye basketball. 91-84, 21.8 to go in the game. And the ball will stay with the Hawkeyes. An 18-6 run to start the second half by Creighton. They got up a dozen. Stretched the lead to 17 before the Hawks' furious rally has brought us to 21.8 remaining. Iowa needs to get shots off in a hurry. Sanford harassed by Shireman. Misses the three. Rebounded by Kalkbrenner. Outlets oh, tipped away. Rebounded by Miller, excuse me. But the outlet pass is knocked away. Patrick McCaffrey is fouled as he ran the ball down in the corner and drove to the hoop. 9.9 to go. P-Mac will get two free throws. Keep the game going. Hawkeyes hustling, knocking the offensive rebounds out. Patrick get, gets to the free throw line. Score with the clock stop. Two free throws coming for Pat. He needs to make them both. That would get Iowa back to within five. And then it would be an immediate foul and hope for missed free throws. This is about as entertaining. I mean, that first half was as entertaining a, a ball game. Bobby, and save for that Hawkeye drought to start the second half where Creighton really pressured him at both ends of the floor. Made their first seven shots, four three-point goals. That has been a difference maker. Patrick misses the first free throw and the second. So that'll seal it. That'll do it. 91-84. 7.5 to play in the game. And Creighton up three possessions. Free throws coming for Creighton. The Hawks foul. And it's going to be Shireman. He's a dead eye at the free throw line. Shireman with 16 points tonight. Oh, and he misses one, too. Thank tired. You. I think they're all tired. They all are. I mean, what those game. were two tired free throws by P-Mac. Yeah, you know, it's just too bad. Peyton got those two fouls. First 10 minutes. Was never a factor in that first half. Then got hurt. Banged his head off the floor. Second free throw is good. Creighton by eight. And a foul called on, on the Blue Jays. 4.3 to go. Blocking foul call on Farabello. Tony Perkins will shoot two free throws. Tony's rough and tough stretch that second half got him back in it. Yeah, he's a tough kid, man. And he misses the front end of the one and one. And that'll do it. Final score. Great 92, Iowa 84. <laughs> Greg, Greg McDermott and Fran McCaffrey, each with a big smile and a, a back slap. I, I think they're both tired. 
Yeah, late start, late game. These kids competed, and that's all you can ask out here, Hawkeye. They never went away. Got down by 17. I think it was, Gary, 80 to 63, and then that young group came in and really grew up there. When you play these kids, that's how you develop that depth and uh, never quit on, on, on the Hawks there and lose by eight. Though. Heck of a basketball game, and uh, the Hawkeyes battled Creighton to a 43 all tie in the first half. That saw 14 lead changes and eight ties. And that one stretch to start the second half. Creighton outscoring the Hawks 18 to 6. They made it hold up. 17 point lead and Bobby's point. They fought back to within five. We saw a lot of character there yeah. with uh, Peyton uh, Sanford unable to be a factor. Yeah, it's unfortunate Peyton got the two fouls early and then got injured. He really never got into the flow of the game. I thought he had it cooking early in the game and uh, just couldn't, uh, you know, just couldn't stay on the floor, I guess. But tell you what, hats off to these kids for laying it out on the court and giving it everything they had. Uh, it's a legitimate top 10 team. This uh, Creighton outfit, I'm telling you, ranked number seven on one pole, eight on the other. And the Hawks battled them in their building. Where... Uh, since this building opened, there's something like 250 and uh, 50. I mean, it's just, it's so lopsided how, how much of a home court advantage this building is. And tonight, the Hawks gave a great effort, just couldn't pull it out in that second half or get the lead. And Creighton got up 17, wins it by 8, 92 84. We'll take it all apart here on the U.S. Cellular Postgame Show coming up next. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited, Iowa's official. Bowl Tour is proud to announce the Hawkeyes are bowl eligible. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited is Iowa's leader for game tickets, air travel, and hotel. Sign up to automatically receive official bowl travel information at hawkeyesports.com slash bowl central. Final score, 92-84. Blue Jays over the Hawkeyes. Back with the postgame show in a minute. This is Hawkeye basketball from their field. You've been listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Also brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Shelter Insurance. Find an agent for your auto, home, and life at shelterinsurance.com. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And by Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt, who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. Find an agent at shelterinsurance.com to get started. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. 
on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. By your local Ford dealers. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Great first half saw the Hawks and Creighton battle to a 43-all draw at the intermission. And then uh, a nightmarish first five minutes of the second half saw the Blue Jays D up the Hawks at one end and hit their first seven shots to start the second half, including four three-point goals, outscoring the Hawks 18-6. to To get the lead to 12, it would become a 17-point deficit, and then led by Tony Perkins. And Owen Freeman, the Hawks, battled back, got to within five with time remaining, but couldn't get over the hump. And uh, Creighton wins at 92-84. Uh, Bobby, a, a courageous uh, effort in a, in a tough place to play by the Hawkeyes. It comes up a little short. Yeah, even in defeat, Gary. I'm, I'm impressed with this young Hawkeye basketball team. The young kids came in there, Fran, gave them extended minutes, trusted them. They got that thing uh, under control a little bit and, and gave the Hawkeyes a chance. And if we could have had Peyton Sanford there in the first half, the two fouls he was saddled with really hurt him. But Ben Cricky, the story of the game there, he took it to Kalkbrenner, who is an All-American type of a, a big man in there, but pulled him away from the basket and was able to get a, a, a career high, at least with the Hawkeyes, of the 24 points. But Hawks gave it everything they had. Owen Freeman in the second half, the eight points. Dembele had some flashes uh, in there. And, but in the end, uh, this three-point shooting, as you mentioned, Gary, that 18-6 to six start to the second half, uh, that was sort of the, the, the margin of, uh, of defeat for the Hawkeyes at 12 points. And the bench. I mean, they only play eight players, but uh, two of them, Frederick King, who spelled uh, Kalkbrenner, uh, the seven-footer, King 6'10", 250. When they can run two guys at you like that in the post, Bobby, uh, he and uh, Francisco Farabello, uh, the guard who uh, gives Alexander a break uh, every now and then. Let's see. what they. Uh, and then, uh, to your point, Isaac Trout. A couple of threes. Yeah, he had two threes. Uh, the bench outscored Iowa as bench uh, 32 to 18. Let's see. King with, uh, a, he had 12 points, and Farabello had 14. And there's 26 points right there. That, that was huge. Well, that really contributed to that 18 to 6 run, and the Hawks dropped to 2 and 1 on the season. Uh, Creighton improved to 3 and 0, and no doubt will be uh, ranked in the top 10 for at least another week. Uh, but it's just a good basketball game to call. Good. Good, good game to a fun, a fun game to watch, and you know the Hawks will get better for this because yeah, yeah. of this environment, because of the uh, the competition going forward. I agree, I agree, hundred percent. And the trust that Fran put in those young kids, those are valuable minutes that they got to play on the court there, and were productive uh, in, in those minutes that they were in there together. So uh, you know they're going to feel bad about this one, no doubt about it. But this is the type of games you can learn from and uh, really improve. Our postgame coverage is sponsored by U.S. Cellular as a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Ben Cricky is our Old Dominion best in the game tonight. We'll visit with Ben. Bobby will head back to the Hawkeye locker room and sit down with Coach McCaffrey and discuss tonight's 92-84 win by Seventh rank Creighton over the Iowa Hawkeyes. That's all ahead on the U.S. Southern Post Game Show. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. 
Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawks go down here at Creighton tonight, 92-84. Creighton made its first 10 field goal attempts to start the second half, including five threes in the first 11 minutes, and got the lead to 17 before a furious Iowa rally. Uh, chopped the uh, deficit to five uh, late in the game, but the Hawks just ran out of time, and both teams were really out of gas uh, by the end of the game. It was just a, a, a night where both raced up and down the floor, as we predicted would happen at the start of the game you know these two coaching styles now uh, they like to get out and go and man was it entertaining to watch unfortunately the hawks uh, fell a little short but uh, they'll have their day 92 84 is the final ben Cricky, our, our uh, old dominion best in the game is going to join us shortly ben had his first 20 point game as a hawkeye tonight as we take a look at the high v stat recap score big savings with the all-new totally free high v perks membership uh, creighton with a Incredible second half. They hit uh, 17 of 27. That's 63 percent, and five of 11 from three. Uh, as they uh, pull away in the second half and hold on for the victory, 92-84. And as we start the stats, Ben Crickies pulling up and uh, going to have a chair. Let me have you put that headset on, Ben. <laughs> if if you have the strength to get it on, uh, I got it. Man, oh man. I mean, I w- I was worn out just watching. Uh, you guys uh, and Creighton fly up and down the floor all night, and you knew that's what was coming. Yep. Yeah, I mean, both teams knew that coming in, that it was going to be a run-and-gun game. A lot of a lot of three-shot, and, uh, yeah, running in transition was going to be a factor. 24 points, 11 of 18 uh, shots for Ben Crickey went down, 2 of 2 from the free-throw line and five rebounds. And uh, not once did you drift out beyond the three-point line. Was that by design? No, I probably could have. Uh, Coach Gaden's kind of let me know and mid-range was going and uh boy was it ever felt comfortable doing that so stuck with that probably next time we we face a drop team like that could probably extend the range a little bit but well you knew about uh Kalkbrenner coming in but uh king kind of surprised everybody in the building tonight 6 10 250 i mean what a one-two punch when you can run two guys in the post like that yeah, I mean, he was good. Came in off the bench. We knew that coming into the game, too, that he would come in and, and be a spark and grab some old boards. So, I mean, credit to him. Uh, he played well tonight. Should have should have done a little better to, to stop that. Now well, losing Peyton Sanford to two fouls in that first 10 minutes. He he sat a long time, then banged his head and landed hard on his back. Backside, uh, that cost him another six, seven minutes. Uh, that's hard to overcome when you're, when you're leading scorers out of the lineup that long. Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Um, obviously tough, but we we know our depth and, you know, kind of next man up mentality. Um, we just kind of lost attention to detail kind of early on when they made their run to start to start the second half. Yeah, what was going uh, on there? That four-minute stretch, they outscored the Hawks 18-6. to six. That turns out to yeah. be the, the difference yeah, in the we, game. Yeah, we just didn't come out, you know, stick to the game plan that we followed to a T the first half. Uh, came out. Took a couple punches early and just didn't didn't punch back. 
Um, that's that's not our identity. We need to get that back, and uh, you know, be the aggressors to come out. Pay attention to details. Don't relax at all. You know, the ball screen coverage is a little tough on us, and then just oh boards and, and kick outs and threes, wide open threes. Um, we knew that that they're a good shooting team, and mm -hmm. and uh, they hit the open ones. Well, uh, great effort on behalf of the Hawkeyes. You get down 17. You, Tony, Owen Freeman gave you quality minutes off the bench. All of a sudden, you scratch back to within five and still time, and mm -hmm. just not enough to get over the hump. But uh, you guys got to be proud of your effort in that stretch. Yeah, I mean, we just talked about in the locker room. We're definitely not satisfied. We uh, we came to win the game and a very winnable game at that. Um, so there's a little bit a little bit of frustration, but tons mm -hmm. tons to take away and and. Uh, you know, we're going to take this game and, and learn from it and uh, move on and, and win some games. I like the 20 assists and only seven turnovers against this kind of pressure. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you guys have been taking such good care of the basketball, and that's going to pay off down the road. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's been our identity now. Uh, we've talked about just playing Iowa basketball, playing fast, but playing smart, taking care of the ball. Uh, you know, I had a few in the first half, which was a little disappointing. Um, you know, hurt us a little bit. I, you know, they made shots off that. Um, but, yeah, we just got to find ways to take care of the ball and uh, continue to share it. Well, keep up the great work, uh, young man. Outstanding effort again tonight. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ben Cricky, our best in the game, courtesy of Old Dominion. Old Dominion Freight Line. Old Dominion Freight Line works hard to be the best in their game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Ben Cricky played 31 of the 40 minutes, 24 points, 11 of 18 shooting, made both free throws, had a steal, an assist, and five rebounds. He is our Old Dominion best in the game. Back to the stats in a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Nurfield. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. We're back here at uh, this uh, beautiful building, the CHI Health Center, downtown Omaha, where tonight Creighton holds off Iowa 92-84. Tons of Hawk fans coming up saying hi, and uh, I'm obligated to say hi back even at this late hour. Thanks for hanging in there with us on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Uh, Iowa closed the game in a flurry, making 9 of 11 field goals over an 8-minute stretch, and that trimmed that 17-point deficit to five but uh, that's as close as the hawks could get back to the high v stat recap for the game the hawkeyes uh, with that nice ending that nice uh, final eight minutes shoot 34 of 68 uh, so they batted an even 550 percent from the field six of 14 from three and made 10 of 14 free throws 
for uh, the winning Creighton Blue Jays. They shoot 32 of 62 for the game, a little bit better than 50%, about 51 and a half. Ten threes in 29 attempts, so they end up with four more threes than the Hawks. And they made eight more free throws, 18 of 24, many of those coming late in the game. Now, the Hawkeyes had uh, a multitude of uh, double-figure scores, four to be exact, led by our Old Dominion best in the game, Ben Cricky, with 24, 16 for Tony Perkins, uh, 16 points, four rebounds, three assists, three steals for Tony, and just one turnover. His stat line was uh, spectacular. Other double-figure scores, Patrick McCaffrey with 13 points. 16 points, uh, by the way, Tony Perkins with 16 points, also collared six rebounds. He and Peyton Sanford led the team with six boards each. Peyton did get to uh, double figures with 11 points, but only played 18 of the 40 minutes. Foul trouble in the first half, uh, then was uh, briefly uh, uh, knocked, uh, not unconscious, but knocked silly uh, his head hit the floor on a hard contact with Shireman of uh, Creighton. Uh, Peyton would return to the game, but uh, took just seven shots on the night made two threes and six attempts, 11 total points, and six rebounds. Eight each for Owen Freeman, solid uh, job of the youngster. He and uh, Lodgy Dembele each with eight, so the freshmen uh, played, those two freshmen played well again tonight. Dasani Bowen with just two points, but four assists. The Hawkeyes uh, had six block shots and uh, seven steals in the game. Uh, Creighton with uh, uh, just a couple steals and three block shots. So the Hawkeyes, uh, those numbers there tell you they really fought hard uh, and came up short uh, thanks to that tough start in the second half, losing at 92-84. For Creighton, 23 points for their star guard, Trey Alexander. 23 points, 9 assists for uh, uh, Trey Alexander. He played all but 3 minutes of the game. The uh, young man from uh, Oklahoma City. And he's just a junior. He can come back next year if he'd like, but he's Bobby Hansen said definitely a pro. Other double-figure scorers, Baylor Shireman uh, took uh, 12 shots, hit six, three threes for 17 points, 13 for the seven-footer Ryan Kaltbrenner, and uh, 12 points for his backup, Frederick King. What a game he had, 12 points, five rebounds. Alexander had a double-double to go with his 23 points. He had 11 boards, 10 defensive. Seven points for Mason Miller. Pair of threes for Isaac Trout for six. Uh, the other double figure scorer off the bench, Francisco Farabello. He had 14, hit four of six shots, three threes. He was huge in that first half. The Hawks had the lead to uh, five, six points a couple times, and Farabello would rein in a three or get a driving score off a layup. Uh, he, the the uh, Creighton bench outscored Iowa 32 18. That was a big factor as well tonight. Those were the uh, top scorers for the Creighton Blue Jays. Turnovers, again, Iowa, uh, very good, took good care of the basketball. Just one turnover in the second half, if I have my numbers right, seven for the game. They turned uh, Creighton over uh, 12 times. The Hawkeyes had six more points off turnovers, which was a factor, but not enough in the end. Free throws, uh, the Hawks 10 of 14, Creighton 18 of 24. That brings us to our recap, uh, courtesy of our friends at Latham High Tech Seeds, our charity stripe recap. Uh, Iowa, again, uh, 10 of 14, the Blue Jays 18 of 24. That's your charity stripe update brought to you by Latham High Tech Seeds. Just like the Hawkeyes' diverse talents, no seed company has more trait and genetic diversity than the Latham High Tech Seeds. Thank you to Latham Seeds for supporting Hawkeye basketball and the American Cancer Society through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion all season long. We've got Fran McCaffrey ready to go. Bobby Hanson in the Hawkeye locker room. Let's switch over to Bobby. Go ahead, Bobby. Coach came in uh, ranked team and a hostile environment. I thought you guys really battled and competed. Your thoughts? I think you're right, Bobby. We did. Uh, the, the, the first seven or eight minutes of the second half, we were not as connected as we were in the first half or as we were in the last, say, 12, 13 minutes. And that's unfortunate. They, they scored a bunch of points in that stretch, and they stretched the lead to double digits. We can't let it get to that. You know, we, we get it seven or eight, nine, but it gets to 13. It, it makes it hard. Made a great comeback. Thought Peyton got hit on that last one, and that would have maybe made a difference. But uh, 
kids really fought. I'm so proud of the young guys. And little, they're just getting more and more confidence every day. And Coach, talk about that start of the second half. Was it their veteran guys and then just kind of changed that Kalkbrenner got running out there? What, what was going on there in the start? Well, we weren't, get, you know, we weren't hitting as much as we were in the first half, and we weren't getting to the offensive glass. But we were, if you're going to play this team, you've got to be five as one because they run a lot of actions with lobs and with ghost screens. And so there's a lot of interchanges. So you got to communicate on your switching. You got to you got to make sure you tag the roll guy because they're running the seven one guy to the front of the rim on a regular basis, and you can't just let them roll. And contestant they're just going to pitch it to the rim on you. So you have multiple responsibilities beyond guarding your own man, and, and that's what makes this team hard to play against because they have multiple three point shooters and a seven one guy. So they're going to space you appropriately. That's what anybody would do. Greg does a good job with that. So it also takes a tremendous amount of effort and communication. In the first half, the defense is in front of our bench. The second half is the other end, so you're, you're down there by yourself. So you're not getting any help from the bench. So uh, hopefully we'll learn from it, Bobby. Yeah, defense was good, friend. As good as I've seen in, in a long time here by collectively as a team, other than that little stretch in there. But let's go to the start of the game. Ben Cricky got cooking there, and that was by design as you pulled Kalkbrenner away. Yeah, we, we felt like we could get him the ball in that mid-range area, get him on the move, isolate him for, for drives. Ben's really good attacking the basket off the bounce. His mid-range game is as good as anybody I've ever seen. Back to the competing thing, uh, you guys never quit, and you trusted the four freshmen in there with, with Josh Dixon, left them in there in the second half, and they kind of got it back in there. I felt like that was important. You know, I didn't play them as much in the first half. I went back with the starters. Uh, you know, the, the second group missed a few shots, and I don't like to do that. Look, you miss a few shots, or you're going to come out. But I thought Josh, Brock, Owen, they all took good shots. They didn't go in in the first half. I have to give them a chance to come back. You know, I thought Price and Owen were really good. Brock, I thought, was really moving the ball. Uh, Josh Dix was his usual solid self, uh, making plays off the bounce for other people. So I felt very comfortable with that group, leaving them out there and seeing what they could do, because that will really benefit our team in the long run. Yeah, that's my question, Coach. Even in defeat, do you think this team grew tonight? No question. You know, the, the bottom line, Bobby, is you learn from the good things you do. You learn from the mistakes you make. Things, as you know, you played the game a long time, are different on the road. So all of a sudden, maybe you don't get a call, or you think you got fouled, and you don't think you, you know. That was a physical, aggressive game, you know. Officiating had nothing to do with it. What we got to do is play through it, continue to compete, and understand and be accountable for what we could have done and what we didn't do. That's how you get better. And Coach, final question. Peyton Sanford, two fouls early. He was cooking and, and had to come out of the game. And then he comes out and hits his head on the floor. How, how's his health right now? Well, I was worried about it when he went down. And I, I, I was very close, Bobby, to not putting him back in at all. Uh, but they took him in the back. They went, put him through a battery of tests, and they said he's fine. Uh, so we'll see how he's feeling. But uh, he was dying to get back in there. I wanted to get him back in there, but I wasn't going to do anything that was going to you know, make it any worse. Okay, Coach. Well, terrific uh, effort here tonight. Came up a little bit short, but uh, get home safe, and we'll uh, reconvene on Friday. Look forward to it, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Coach McCaffrey with Bobby Henson is brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers, including Van Wall Equipment in Adair. Van Wall, nothing runs like a deer, especially when supported by the team at Van Wall Equipment. Stop by one of their locations and learn how to farm better, work smarter, and play harder when you run with Van Wall and John Deere. Our post game is brought to you in part by hy V. Score big savings with the all-new totally free hy V Perks membership. 9284 Creighton. Holds off the Hawkeyes to get to 3-0 and in the young season. Hawks drop to 2-1, and losing here in Omaha. Back with more postgame courtesy of U.S. Cellular right after this. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau. But depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. 
find a better business anytime at bbb.org. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. 92-84, 92-84, Creighton, the winner over Iowa tonight in an entertaining game that uh, you'd have to go a long way to find a, a game that was as, uh, so much fun to watch as this one was tonight. Unfortunately, the Hawks come up short, 92-84. Uh, and a lot of it had to do with paint scores. And when you got that uh, gigantic combination of 7-foot Kalkbrenner and 6'10 King, Creighton got 42 paint scores to Hawkeyes, 24 points in the paint, courtesy of Spahn and Rose. And the folks at GAF Roofing use the Spawn and Rose Visualizer to plan the perfect roof and blend an architectural look with exceptional performance. GAF, we protect what matters the most. With several Spawn and Rose locations, you can focus on life's other important things. Spawn and Rose, buy easier and build better. Now, there was a lot of uh, traffic jams in the lane tonight uh, at both ends of the floor. Uh, ben Cricky, though, was uh, the, the game plan was to get him out to that mid-range, 17 to 19 feet, because the seven-footer wasn't about to chase him out there. And Ben Cricky was hot from the get-go. Cricky, 17 feet from the basket. Back to McCaffrey. Gets a screen from Cricky. Back to Ben. His jump shot good. Cricky, the lefty, pounds one in from 18 feet. Yeah, the assist to uh, McCaffrey and uh, the Hawks led it by one early. Uh, Cricky, uh, after a, 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 a Creighton three-point goal, Cricky comes down and hits another big jump shot. Uh, Creighton with the lead, but not for long. As lefty Ben Cricky went right at the big fella, the seven-footer, Kalkbrenner, and ties the game at six. And after a Hawkeye stop, Iowa gets the lead. Sanford shooting in transition. Nails a three. Wow. About 25 feet. Peyton Sanford feeling it early. He's got five points. Iowa has a 9-6 lead. Uh, but a uh, 5-0 run by Creighton put the Blue Jays back up to Ben Crick, uh, Ben Cricky uh, with the assist from Tony Perkins. Ties it at 11. Tony circles center of the floor. Cricky's open for a wing jumper. Good. Kalkbrenner's not going to chase him out there. Uh, Cricky had 16 of his 24 points in the first half. Hawks get a defensive stop. Sanford gives Iowa the lead. Skip pass to Cricky right of the lane. Ben's got the hot hand. Hands off to Sanford. He's open for three. Step back or good. Cricky with a, not only a great handoff pass in stride for Peyton, but he set up a beautiful screen. Sanford had uh, 11 points and played just uh, 17, 18 minutes for the game due to foul problems uh, and then injured in the second half, but hopefully he's going to be okay. He did come back in the game after he hit the floor hard and banged his head early on in that second half. Iowa was up 14-11 at that point. Uh, Iowa's defense uh, made an appearance or two, too, uh, this evening, especially in that first half. A nice steal here by Tony Perkins and a run out for a layup. There, here's a steal, bad pass. Perkins has Troy Alexander to beat at the other. Trey Alexander and does. Half dunk, half layup by Perkins. Hawkeyes force a turnover on the Blue Jays and lead it 20-15. to 15. 
Yeah, it was it was amazing. Uh, Creighton would score five in a row. The Hawks would respond with a five point flurry. There was a six zero run by Iowa, uh, and uh, it had a lot to do with uh, Ben Cricky, as you know. Here's Cricky. Thought about a three. King went out to meet him. Here's Bryce Sample. Turns the corner. Hook pass to Cricky. Left of the lane. Banked it in off the square. Cricky cannot miss. He's unconscious. And that was Iowa's biggest lead of the night at 22 15. Uh, Cricky uh, ended a 6 0 run there. Dembele uh, came back with a three pointer later after Creighton had scored five straight. And the Hawks were back up 5 25 20. Perkins with a great move and a nice jump shot here with eight minutes to go in the first half. Uh, broke a 27 all tie. Here's a hook pass to Tony Perkins. Pull up jumper. Good in motion. Got his feet set, shoulders squared that time, and knocked him down. He was red hot at the shoot around this morning. Tony Perkins, 6 of 12 from the field including a couple threes and also had six rebounds. He tied for tops in that category. Uh, he's our uh, Lennox dealers of Iowa, Hot Hawkeye, heating up the nets. Uh, Tony with uh, 16 points on the night, 6 of 12 shooting. He had six rebounds, three assists, a block shot, and three steals. Great line by Tony Perkins, and he is our Lennox Hot Hawkeye, courtesy of the Lennox dealers in Creston, including Camblin Plumbing and Heating. Up in Decor, it's Vicks Heating, Plumbing, and Vent. There's affordable service down in Fairfield in Muscatine, Challenge Appliance, and out in Sioux Center, hi to the folks at Langles Plumbing and Heating. Hawks and Creighton uh, threw seven ties and 13 lead changes, uh, or excuse me, 14 lead changes, were tied at 43 all at the half. Uh, the second half, though, was uh, Twilight Zone. Uh, Creighton came out, uh, hit the first basket of the second half to lead 45 43. Ben Cricky. Uh, uh, got it tied quickly on Iowa's first possession. Bowen and McCaffrey. Cricky. Here's Cricky with a jump shot. Scores off glass. Tie game at 45. But then Creighton uh, started to put together that incredible streak of uh, 18 of the next 24 points, including an 8-0 run. Cricky did what he, he could to salve the wound. Here's McCaffrey. Muscles his way inside, looking for a jump shot. Finds Cricky, and he knocks it down. That's been his favorite spot on the floor, that 17-footer. The score was 53-47 at this point. Creighton with 16 and a half minutes uh, to go in the game. But uh, the Blue Jays, uh, that home cooking, boy, did they like it. They went out. In fact, they hit their first 10 field goal tries of the second half, 15 for 17. Uh, the run would uh, include from the field, including five threes, and went up 17 before the Hawks hit nine of their last 11 shots and chopped that 17-point deficit down to five, but that's as close as they got the final score, 92-84 Creighton. Those are the plays of the game. We're coming back to wrap up our U.S. Cellular Post game show in a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like ruggability, and you'll like the incredifantabulous deals, so see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Yeah. Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. Yeah. While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community, garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, 
you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Wrap up the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show here in the, the late hour of the evening with a, a U.S. Bank scoreboard. Other Big Ten teams in action tonight. Some involved in this Big Ten ACC uh, Big Ten ACC challenge. Big Ten Big East. They did such a good job of uh, mentioning a Big East Big Ten all night long. Uh, the Gavitt games. Uh, Providence uh, whipped Wisconsin 72-59. Uh, Duke knocked off number four Michigan State, the second-ranked Dukies in the Champions Classic, defeated Michigan State 74-65. The other half of that doubleheader, Kansas rallied from a pretty good deficit to 16th-ranked Kentucky, and the Jayhawks uh, outlast uh, uh, the Wildcats 89-84, number one Kansas over 16th-ranked Kentucky by five. Penn State a winner over St. Francis, 83-53. Fifth-ranked Marquette went into Champaign-Urbana and knocked off the Illini, Tonight, 71-64. It was Northwestern, 63. Western Michigan, 59. Northern Iowa won by 40 over Loris, 90-50 to at the McLeod Center. Drake defeats Southwest Minnesota State, 87-67. A defending national champ, UConn, no problem with Mississippi Valley State, 87-53. Ninth-ranked Tennessee defeated uh, Wolford, 82-61. to Other winners in the top 25 included Florida Atlantic, Texas A&M, Alabama, Gonzaga, no problem with Eastern Oregon. With uh, 8.50 to go in the game out west, uh, 20, 21st rank USC trails at home to UC Irvine, 54-46. to 46. And the new college football playoff rankings are out. Georgia's number one, Ohio State two, Michigan three, Florida State four. The Hawkeyes are 16th. That'll wrap up our U.S. Cellular postgame coverage. Speaking of Iowa football, the Hawks host the Illini on Saturday afternoon at 2.30, 12.30 for pregame coverage here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. And Friday night, make it a big weekend in Iowa City, Arkansas State will provide the Hawkeye men their next basketball competition at Carver Hawkeye Arena. You can walk right up and purchase a ticket Friday night. The Hawks in Arkansas State, 7 o'clock tip, 6 o'clock airtime here with Bobby and yours truly. Thanks to Bobby Hansen, our engineer producer, Corey Sheets. I'm Gary Dolphin. We appreciate your attendance tonight and for hanging in there with us. A late start, a late finish. The Hawks came up short, 92-84 to 7th-ranked Creighton. Good night from Omaha. This has been Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. Your husband is pretty handy to have around. He makes the world's best mac and cheese. Lunch is ready. He's in the Tickle Monster Hall of Fame. <laughs> and he can teach anyone how to throw strikes. But a busted pipe and a basement full of water? Honey, I think we need a plumber. He's a little out of his league. That's where a homeowner's policy from Shelter Insurance comes in handy. We'll help get your house back in order and your husband back to what he does best. <laughs> Find an agent at shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. 
You've been listening to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeye basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also brought to you by High V. Score big savings with a new High V Perks membership. And by United Healthcare, committed to helping people live healthier lives. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.